What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rian Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Monday. It is a rainy Monday here in New York, which seems to be the theme for Mondays going forward. Hard to just get up and get the week going. But you know what? It's a perfect day to listening to our Taylor Swift listening party, which will come later on in the episode. Unfortunately, we can't play the songs, which we've talked about before, yeah. but we will discuss in great depth the meaning of each song, I'm sure, because we will jo- be joined by Kelly Keegs and Fettelberg. I saw someone comment on Instagram when we posted that Fights and Kelly were coming. That was just like, play the songs, Dave can pay the fees. It's like... <laughs> I don't think people realize how much money you can you can get sued for. for Especially Taylor Swift, she's not afraid for, to sue people. Yeah, for no. for um for using copyright music. There's like that's why we play the same song and for the and intro podcast. and the outro. Yeah, yeah. Even that, yeah. Like, I mean, the intro them. songs are intro song. We had to fight to keep it, but like even just and we had to fight to keep. Yeah, we had to choose one outro song. Yeah, yeah. Like we and, we and used to change it up all the time. And it's not really the most like. <laughs> legal thing even still you so know. let's yeah. stop talking so, so about don't it. even tell anyone right that do yeah that. don't talk about that okay guys anyways don't tell that'll that that. that'll come on uh later in the show but how's everyone doing on this monday how's everyone's weekend i'm good i'm tired really it's a long weekend watched a lot of baseball <laughs> yeah i think that was in a baseball fan now yeah, yeah. fran big, all of a sudden big baseball big baseball girl, big baseball girl. <laughs> it's funny because people love to be like oh you don't you don't care about baseball i'm like yeah, I don't really care about baseball, but why not root for your team when they make it I mean, to the yeah. World Series? I yeah, know. yeah, of course. You've just gone out of your way to say you don't care about baseball. In the past? Yeah, in the past. Well, yeah, because I don't watch <laughs> I don't I don't normally watch baseball. But it does make sense. In this sense scenario, to I will watch. Root for the Phillies. Yes. The Yankees lost last night, so it'll be Astros versus Phillies, yep. which will be fun. It'll be very interesting. Um <laughs> I actually like baseball the most. Not, I'm not saying out of you guys. I'm just saying out of all sports. Yeah. So I, I you're, he's laughing at me, but I actually do find. No, you baseball. do. Like, you I, I do you like do. baseball, but it's not. You're, you're not watching a lot of regular season baseball. No, but I used to a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like I before, actually, I've talked about this before. I worked here. I was very into more baseball, so. and then when I started working here, it was almost like, well, if you're not like the biggest diehard fan in the world, then you shouldn't be a fan at all. You right. know what I mean? So, and also, I used to watch a lot of games with my dad, and you know, yeah. you know, you grow up, and you're not, a, you're not, you're not home as often. <laughs> Can't catch all those games with your dad. Um, but I saw both of you this weekend, actually. Yeah. I saw you Saturday night and I saw you Saturday night. Me and separately. No- separately. Yeah. Me and Noah had the craziest night of our lives. It was pretty wild, honestly. <laughs> <It was. laughs> like, we we What did you guys do? We got into I some I feel pretty left out right now. You shouldn't feel left out. <laughs> we it was um the craziest night ever. That's really how we can word it. Uh, yeah. That, are, that's are, it. That's all gonna, I get. Do you are you going to expand on it or, or? So <laughs> I saw Fran at the bar. She was with all her friends. And then Marty and Tommy were at the Yankee game. And they were like, you know, down and out about the Yankees losing. They went back to Tommy's apartment. Noah met up with them. And then we, they couldn't decide. Nobody could decide what they wanted to do. So then I met up with them after I was bouncing around solo on Saturday, which is not something I do quite often, but I was. Um, So was I kind of. Yeah. I I was with a group who wasn't really like. Yeah. That (laughs) well-versed. So I met up with them and we were like, gosh, should we go out? Should we not go out? What do we do? Back and forth. And so we decided to go to some random bar and we walked in and the bar just was not the scene. Like it was just, we just were like, it was was just, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We had one green tea shot. We walked out. We said, let's go. Just like a bar, not like a. It was a bar on the Lower East Side. A bar on the Lower East Side. Then we walked out of there and we went to another bar and we kind of had the same feeling. We had another green tea shot. And then we were like, all right, why don't we just escalate it? Why don't we just go into any bar we see and just take one single green tea shot? We were kind of like, what if we just went into a bunch of different bars and and rank the green tea shots? And then we called it the green tea tour. And so (laughs) we went into like six or seven bars. And, wow. and some, just the some, four of us. 
<laughs> but there's magic in the air because we were running into people that we haven't seen in Every years. bar we went into, we, like, knew somebody someone. would run into somebody that yeah. they knew or haven't. And it was like the most, it wasn't like we were looking up bars to go to. Yeah. We would just walk into bars and things would happen. And then we ended the night with corn dogs. Who, what um, did you guys have? Were the green tea shots different in every place? They're pretty. Uh, yeah, I would say different. Some also, were good, some were not so good. Some mm. a little sour, some the a little sweet. The presentation was different. Like right. Some had big glasses, some had tiny plastic shots. Ooh. How do you feel about the big glasses? I don't like the big glasses. But we were saying for green tea shots, I, I do like it. But not, if, it's if like, it was like a tequila shot, I wouldn't want it. Yeah, too intimidating. Nah, just give me the little plastic. It just only because it just feels a le- it feels the least scary. Less daunting. Yeah. That's like the biggest yeah. I see that cup, I'm like, oh, I can do that, no problem. The big glass where you're like, Oh god, that looks huge and then and then you psych yourself out of it. The beautiful thing about green tea shots is like <laughs> I just don't think they are like real. Like, so that's like I don't think there's actually anything in them. At first that's the until problem. I was really drunk when I got home. Like yeah. two 2 a.m. I was like, oh my god! Like, I thought I was good, and then Marty kept saying to me, like, no, you're. F-. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be so hungover tomorrow, and he's like, no, you're fine, you're gonna be so great. And then the next morning, I was really hungover, and he was like, I thought by telling you you weren't yeah, going to be that it was gonna be thing. fine, but like, no, I think I was the only one that it really I hit. I prefer a I, white yeah, tea fine. shot these days. I don't know if I've ever had that. I think it's. I don't. I don't like whiskey. Wait, what is in in a green tea shot? It's, I was it's actually, whiskey, whiskey, and peach schnapps. Oh. Yeah, it's not even green I was tea. Wondered. Yeah. Well, so yeah. it's so you it's um if you do it peach shops and vodka, they call it a white tea oh. shot. Does um, it taste like is it I that think it's different? I yeah, I think it's better. Mm. It tastes it tastes like just be just because I prefer I prefer vodka yeah. to whiskey. Although there was one bar where they said we don't have green tea shots and, we, and lemon drop. Yeah, we had to which was you disappointing. Had to sup- we had to default with to, lemon drop? to lemon drop. I was like we should leave, but Yeah. We had well. We went into one bar that was like we only do wine and liquor. I uh, mean, yeah, wine, we, no we, wine and beer. We got left. Beer, yeah. We got we got left out of that place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, you guys weren't doing your research. <laughs> yeah, well, we went to random. To That's people. Yeah. We random. went into some random places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like. <laughs> but I will do any shot as long as it's not tequila. I say that, but then I'm like, I'll, if people are doing tequila shots, I do it. I like a straight mm-hmm. vodka shot. I am. Um, it's kind of like a serial killer move. It is. It is a little bit, but it just gets to the point. Ugh. Yeah. No. I'm just on a not too much. I can't really just do a straight shot of anything. It's it's all about the mindset. I feel. I don't like mixed drinks at bars. That's also my problem. Why? Yeah. Like it's a, wild. A vodka soda. I don't know why. What just about like a Jack and Coke. No. Nothing. 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 But I like dinner drinks. Like we could get an espresso martini at the bar. Martinis. Right, but you're not like when you go out to those like yeah, I gotta yeah. get Well, I mean, when you're on the green tea tour, you don't really have time. It, it, right. No, no, there's no time to stop I get a drink. No. At one point, I think it was you or Tommy said, I really wish I could just get a normal drink right yeah, now. Yeah, Tommy said and that. We're like, nope, can't no. can't do it. So the Great Green Tea Tour will now commence every October, every, every third, third weekend week, of October, yeah, so if you want to join. join us next year. Yeah. Third week of October. You get a lot of exercise and a lot of walking. Yeah, yeah. Well, we real- we were like, shit, we're already 5,000 steps deep on Sunday because <laughs> the day yeah. started. Yeah. So when you don't move at all on Sunday, you actually still really accomplish something. Exactly. Yeah. And the corn dogs. I'm I didn't big move, I did not move dogs. at all on Sunday. It's a blob of a human. Absolute blob. I burned my finger. I was being what did you burn your finger you're hung over your brain just doesn't work yes i was being so stupid i went i went to go make i just wanted like hot water and lemon because my throat hurt and i was like being so lazy so i'm like oh, i'll just put a fucking mug in the microwave and <gasps> heat it up for a couple minutes not a couple minutes a minute and then when i opened the microwave i just like went to take the mug out of the just without microwave thinking. like a fucking idiot and like went to like loop my finger and just like burnt my finger wow. it's okay now i did i i um but the worst part was it's on a it was on my uh pointer finger mm-hmm. on my right hand where i always have a ring on mm-hmm. and like where you're not when you burn yourself like you're you're supposed to like take off any rings in case it swells <sighs> 
the pain after of having to pull my ring off my finger, like right after the burn, was it's hurting so my hand bad. Thinking about it, but then I, I, I literally stood in my kitchen and like pulled up a chair and just let my hand run under cool water for like 10 minutes yeah they say to do that i never know if it yeah. really works uh, it, it works i'm good now oh, i'm like you, i have a little bit of a like i can see it but you're I can, healed yeah it actually helped a lot i had the most disgusting day of food yesterday because i've been on like a health kick like oh you know working out every day i eat healthy for the most part me, Trent, and Noah have a group chat where we tell each other if we worked out that day and also what we're eating. And it's like a support. It actually it's a support group. It, it works. It does work a lot. Because nice. if I'm like, hey, you got, like if they're like, yeah, I ran today, I'm like, damn. Like I Trent, like one time texted at 11 a.m. Like he was already done with his workout. It's like, fuck. All right. So now the rest of the day you're thinking, well, if Trent did it, I can do it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but yesterday I was like, <laughs> <laughs> And then, well, Trent. Can, no, yeah. I mean, I say the Trent same thing. Do it. I say the same thing about Noah, yeah. right? Like, I'm like, if Noah's getting up and running, why can't I do that? Yeah, it's nothing against you guys. It's just anybody could do it. But yesterday, I was like, "Fuck this! I'm eating whatever I want. Like, mm. I'm eating whatever I want." So woke up and waited about t- till twelve thirty because I was like, "I want to get lunch." Got McDonald's. Then I took a nap. I woke up. I got Domino's. Then Send me a I wasn't. Dominoes, it looked really good. I honestly nothing like really hit the spot. Like I thought both of those things would hit the spot. Mm. Neither of them did. I did something crazy. I'm not. I was never a big KFC girl. I maybe had it a couple couple times in I my. I don't think I've ever had KFC. Like I maybe had it like three times in my early years, maybe around sixth grade, because yeah. my best friend growing up, her family got KFC, but I never got KFC. Yeah. I never got, like, I, I just, I always wanted it, but my mom was always like, I can make mashed potatoes at home. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Because I always wanted mashed potatoes. So yesterday I was like, fuck, you know what would really hit my spot? Mashed potatoes. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to get KFC. Nobody told me that KFC had one of the best fast food items in the world. I didn't know. They're what? mashed potatoes? Their bowl. Which oh. is mashed potatoes, oh. corn, gravy, and popcorn chicken all mixed together. Mm. Uh, it eh? I I wouldn't I want, want it all mixed. I would it's I not just mixed together. I just it's wouldn't like, want it all in one thing. Yeah. What? It is unbelievable. Yeah. I I'm kind of weird where I like my mashed potatoes like un. Well, what about I like? like I wouldn't want my mashed potatoes and my chicken together. Well, the, well, the chicken lies on top of the mashed potatoes. Okay, it is so good, unbelievable. Like the it's way you, the market. way you said all mixed together made me think it was. Oh like, no! Well, it's like mashed potatoes, corn, okay. gravy, and then the popcorn chicken lies on top. Yeah, you never dip like your steak or your chicken in mashed potatoes. No. What? I like to keep my mashed potatoes pure with like a with like a gravy, but I don't like to. I it's a consistency thing. It's like the mashed potatoes are not so nice You're and You're really missing out because you can have the soft mashed potatoes, but also but have a little like nice chew, little taste. Like, you know? Oh, yeah. interesting. Well, mm-hmm. let me tell you, it is one of the greatest things I've ever had. I was... So that was by far the best part when of I think it. Of best I was like, or, I'm done. Best order of the yeah, day. I said, I'm done. I'm going to sleep. I randomly had like... It's, it was basically Boston. But there's no Boston markets in the city anymore. So I mm-hmm. got like a, a knockoff Boston market last mm-hmm. night, but can't beat boston market boston mashed market potatoes is good. and corn but let me tell you this bowl from i didn't know it existed and i've clearly been missing out my entire life because it is it's <laughs> i did thanks- not know Sorry, that i did KFC. not know that exists either yeah it's like thanksgiving in a bowl like i'm i'm thinking now like going forward if i'm like sounds like an ad i really want to like splurt like i want to eat like whatever the fuck i want that's gonna that's be my the, go-to that's the cheat meal it's unbelievably good Anyways. are we running today yes it's gonna rain that's the only thing it's tough. done raining. I think it's supposed to rain later, right? You got to get yourself t- uh, like a treadmill or treadmill something. Or something. Yeah. Those are ex- expensive. very expensive. <laughs> the, well, no, the, well, the thing I have, the but walking you can't pad really is. Yeah, that, but can right? you run on that? No, no, but you could b- do a very brisk walk. Yeah, no I'm, runs. I'm, I, 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 I feel I like no run. runs. I feel like I just don't feel, my heart doesn't start beating if I walk. If you do a very brisk walk for a good amount of time, it will start beating fast. Trust me. It's not a slow walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I can run for less time and feel 
yeah more accomplished you know that's the thing yeah like walking i would have to do much longer to make up for it you know yeah whatever yeah i'm not judging you no don't judge me walking is great it is and i won't i won't feel judged for it <laughs> all right let's get into the topics for today's show we're going to be talking about travis scott and kylie jenner and the rumors of his cheating and this side chick who has popped around Many times over the she years. Seems like she's been around for quite some time. She just keeps coming back. We talked about it back in 2019, so we'll be talking about it again. We also are going to do the full Midnight's review with Kelly Keegs and Fuddleberg, and we have a great game of trivia. So let's get into it, starting off with Travis Scott. We were just talking about how much I love shots. I don't know how much everyone else does, but I certainly do. And I said I would do a shot of anything, but something I love doing a shot of the most is Pink Whitney. We started out all of our shows doing a shot of Pink Whitney, and we ended our shows doing the same thing because there's no better way to get your night started than with Pink Whitney. It is pink lemonade and vodka combined, the perfect little shot, perfect little pregame drink, or the perfect thing to order at a bar. You could make a drink with it, or you could just do a shot like I said. So head over to your local bar, wherever you're going out that night, and make sure you try out Pink Whitney. You can also pick up a bottle of Pink Whitney at your local liquor store as well. So make sure you're pre-gaming with Pink Whitney. Start your night, end your night, do it with Pink Whitney. This past weekend, there were cheating allegations against Travis Scott. Apparently, this girl young sweet row is back in the mix if you remember we talked about this in 2019 she was posting a lot of things about travis scott and then kylie stepped in and everyone was very confused about what was going on because i think that kylie and travis had broken up after that but then it seemed like she was a stalker she showed up to stormy's birthday party like there was just a lot Mm. going on at that time And now it seems like she's back in the mix. She was posting from the set of Travis Scott uh, music video that he was directing. And I cannot figure out for the life of me if I believe Travis Scott or if I believe this woman because she keeps popping up over and over again over the years. And I can't tell if she's a stalker or if Travis Scott is really making Kylie and everyone else feel crazy by saying that she is a stalker, but yet he actually is meeting up with her on the side and how dumb could he actually be if he was that's why i'm finding this whole thing hard to believe well him meeting up with her is not for me not hard to believe at all like the idea of travis scott cheating is not hard for me to believe it's hard to for me to believe when it's this woman that's been a problem in the past like him travis scott cheating she put she in her story she was like that wasn't me the last she had said like i about, remember like, a, specifically yeah, it being about, like her. a mistress situation no. she was like that wasn't me <laughs> it was her there if you look up all the articles from her from years mm-hmm. ago it was they had there was the same situation going on that she was at stormy's birthday party and everyone was like what is this girl doing at stormy's birthday party like apparently she, she hooks up with travis so i don't think travis scott cheating is that crazy of a thing i think travis got cheating with this woman who has been brought up over the past few years is what's crazy because how dumb can you be because this woman has been a problem before the um and and she does what so many people were doing was going back and looking at her instagrams and she has instagrams like with travis she had one that is clearly travis in the picture from like 2013 Yes. Like it's like to me it feels like almost maybe she is a girl from his past. They had a relationship and things now have maybe creeped into uncomfortable territory of her showing up at things that she shouldn't be at. And now he's like oh, I don't know her, but this is the thing. He loses a lot of credibility already but he loses a lot of credibility when he posts saying i don't know who this is when he so clearly does know who it is you know right he like he says the truth yeah (laughs) if you're like i know this woman yeah but i i'm telling you i'm not with like he literally he wrote in his story 
It's a lot of weird shit going on. An uninvited person was sneaking photos on what was supposed to be a closed set while I was directing a video. I'm saying this for the last time. I don't know this person. I've never been with this person. So please stop with the continuous cyber games and the fictional storytelling. But I, he does know her. If yeah. There's photographic evidence. Right, but it, it's unclear of how he knows her. Yeah, but you can't say I don't know. No, I yeah, no. Yeah. You obviously you can't, you can't say, say that. Like, you can't say like I don't know do. this person when here's a picture of you with this with this person. She and you know what I also really don't like the way she talks about Kylie Jenner. Yeah, the whole thing is extremely bizarre. Like she she creeps me out. I'm not gonna lie. She creeps me out because Fair. I just feel like well, she, she just kind of looks like a wannabe Kylie Jenner. Did she? Like did Kylie thing. Jenner? I thought I saw a TikTok or something about her changing her caption and like her original caption was kind of like shading this girl. Yeah, there she had written something in like it was like in your dreams. in your dreams, yeah. And then she changed it to like I don't know what yeah. the caption or something. I just find the whole thing to be extremely bizarre because it's like this woman just keeps popping up mm. and. I just don't know how dumb you could be if you invited this woman to your set when you know that she's been a problem. Like, that's what I'm finding hard to believe. I If this was another girl, I'd be like, yeah, Travis Scott definitely cheated because I don't think Travis Scott is, like, the most stand-up human being. But this whole thing, I think there's a lot to be uncovered with this woman. Yeah, she and she mainly just because of the past years like it's not just this was the first time this happened like she has showed up to events before did she i don't i don't remember she showed up at stormy's birthday yeah look up young sweet i just that's what i just did nothing came up i don't that's why there's uh this is all just about stormy's birthday at that point so she also, in her Instagram stories, she claimed that she had said Travis cheats on that bitch every single fucking night. It was just like a lot of rude language towards Kylie. I don't know if they ha- have any connection. She claims that he was, that they were at like some event on Valentine's Day and he was asking everybody around for for her and like where was she asking for her she posted like screenshots of like this is where um posted screenshots of like a message being like Trav's asking for you and then Travis posted a screenshot of his camera roll from February 14th it was like a a table at home set for two it's like if these two uh he's like if this wasn't where you were like this is where I was on February 14th she went back at him again talking about him being at some party. So it's just really going back and forth over and over. So I don't think, and then she keeps saying, I don't I want to take this. I don't want to be doing this on the internet. Like that's not my life. Like she does that. Like she, her life's on the internet. Like my life's not. It's like, well, you're, you're putting your life on the internet. Yeah. You clearly posted it. And then she claimed that Travis wasn't, that he she was like he wasn't even there anymore like when she went to the set it's like yeah. what you knew what you were doing i'm trying to f- i i know for a fact she showed up to another event mm-hmm. i'm trying to find the pictures but i was literally reading about this last night and i remember talking about it in 2019 she definitely showed up to some occasion yeah and everyone was like this is really creepy that this woman is here yeah and look she is She's definitely gained some Instagram following a little bit at this point, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Huh. I had, I looked, I was looking at her profile yesterday morning. She had 200,000 Instagram followers. She has 394. Right. I mean, it's clearly, you know, she's you know. clearly getting followers, which is probably what she wants, even though she says that that's what Kylie Jenner does. Yeah, exactly. So they're that. I don't know. It's 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 very bizarre. I don't trust Travis at all. Uh so I wouldn't put it past him. I also think that I don't know like how exclusive Travis and Kylie's relationship is. You know, that's been 
put to question a lot in the last couple of years too that they're but that they're very on and off sometimes and you don't really know where they stand sometimes they're just like co-parents who have other stuff going on on the side when other stuff means travis yeah well they were um they were together the other night where they were they were posted like date night oh no they're definitely like They've been posting a lot, not a lot, but I would say Kylie has definitely shared him often, I would say, in the last year or so. So there definitely could be, now it does feel like that way, but I'm just saying in like the past couple of years, I feel like they have been on and off. So in that off time, who knows what he's doing Okay, so talking to at that point. In 2019, this woman said that Travis gifted her a watch, and then she was posting that. Yeah. Oh, I saw the picture of the watch. She had shared that, too. People were going oh, back oh, at their she Instagram was at, that there's, like, was at, similar posts between Travis and her through okay. the years. She was at Sunday service one time, and then after that, she showed up to um, Travis Scott's birthday party that mm. Kylie threw for him. That's what it was. It wasn't okay. Stormy's birthday party. I was, was going to say Stormy's birthday well, would have been quite yeah. a scene. Right. Um, she showed up to Travis's birthday. Yeah, that makes more sense. She, yeah, I don't know. There, There is, this is the thing, like, I don't, I, you just never know what Travis is saying on yeah. the down low be, or telling people to tell her because right, but like how she seems dumb to have do you some... have to be to well we know he's not the brightest. i know but it's like to go to, with this woman again what's your attachment with her <laughs> it's been a decade right i like mean those... i guess they have some history yeah like but... i think this girl has clearly been around for a very long time right but it's just like i don't know how dumb i guess you could be pretty dumb People i know are pretty dumb yeah so maybe he can be this dumb but i also think she's a problem I think she's lying about some stuff too. I don't I wouldn't go ahead and believe her no, right away either. There's there's this is feels very messy, the situation. Yeah. Where there is definitely some blurred lines, I would say. For sure. Like I think her reality is a, could be a little different than you know what Travis than what yeah. Travis is thinking, but perhaps she's like I said she gave an attachment. That picture, I was going all all the way through her Instagram. There's a post from 2013. Like, that is with Travis. So Maybe she was, like, on the early grind of Travis Scott, like, one of his early fans. And I it was, like, a probably. meet and greet. It was, like, a meet and greet. Oh, yeah. no. That's very funny. <laughs> That'd be really funny. It was, like, an intimate picture. It looked like they had inside jokes. There were, like, other captions that no, I, 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 yeah. No, you saw the picture. I know, yeah. I know. That, but, Yeah. That, that's like a fan fiction come to no, life. No, that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> yeah. really never know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, it got, seems. it definitely got messy. Kylie is, I feel like, normally above really jumping into the mix when this stuff happens. Yeah. People were talking about her making that her caption. She, uh, there was also a caption of Young Sweet Row. Rojean is her name that she wrote. Young Sweet Ro. That could be my mom's Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> her last post from October 12th was tell her to be me for Halloween since she since she wants you to love her so bad. Smiley face. Oh my God. See, now that's just eat like that's just evil. No, I know. Like I the way the way like the way I gasped when when I was watching her stories and she was like, he's He's cheating on that bitch every fucking night. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, come like, whoa, just take it about, easy, man. You can talk about Travis, but I mean, she's the mother of his two children. Come on. Have, be nice. Well, that's to me, she sounds jealous of Kylie. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's me- a messy situation. I'm going with meet and greet. Messy, messy <laughs> meet situation. Meet and greet that she's held on to for 10 years. Yeah. I, <laughs> that's a good narrative. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes it can be hard to make sure our own brains are feeling right, intact, 
in the mode, in the zone. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it feels all jumbled up in there and you don't know what to do. Sometimes you don't know who to talk to. You're just feeling a little lost and that's where BetterHelp can help you out. It's a perfect way to finding your own solutions and there's no better feeling when you can get it figured out. At BetterHelp, a therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or how small. You can talk about, you know, whatever you want. You could do it online. You could do it via chat. You don't have to talk to somebody in person, which is the reason why BetterHelp is so great is because sometimes you don't want to get up and go talk to somebody in person and you're feeling like, can I just do this from my house? That's why BetterHelp is here to help you. You could talk online, you could do it over video chat, and you can get a therapist way faster than finding a therapist can be in person and a lot cheaper as well. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, it's accessible, it's affordable, and it's entirely online. You can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time you want so you can figure out who's feeling right for you. That's why BetterHelp is so great. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash office today. Get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash office. All right, everyone, let's get into what everyone has been waiting for. This is our Taylor Swift Midnight's listening party without the listening part. We are just going to deep dive into every song. (laughs) What a joy. We are joined by (laughs) Kelly Keats and John Feidelberg to talk all about Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight's, and on top of that, her 3 a.m. version as well. Hell yeah, Rhea. Rhea, I am am as excited as you are. I'm fucking... (laughs) Amped up. I am pumped up. I waited all so weekend psyched. for this. You, you stay up? 3 a.m.? Yes. Of yeah. course she did. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I did. You, you, you think that she would miss a Taylor drop? Come on. Come as on. If. As well, if. you know, I'll say this. I was hearing rumors that... So, 1989 is my favorite Taylor Swift album. Mm-hmm. said it many one. times before. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually one of my favorite albums ever. And uh. I'm not like... You know, you guys know how I feel. Yeah. I'm not diehard like you guys, but yeah, I'll yeah, listen. Yeah. One of my favorite albums ever. So I was hearing rumblings that this was going to be maybe a little reminiscent of that. Mm. So I was very excited. What'd okay. you, so what do you think? Did, do you agree? Well, that why it, are that we jumping was? right into my opinion? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I, li- I liked it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, it you, did it remind you of 1989 a little bit? Some I could see. I think I need to listen to it a lot more mm. because 1989 was an album that really grew on me because my best friend would drive to school and she would play the album Mm. over and I would have and I'd have to listen to it and then I yeah (laughs) Yeah. what a dream yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I wish I was in that car (laughs) yeah I really do Um, and it really Mm. resonated with me at the time too Mm. so I was like I fucking love this album like and we always she was such a big Swifty huge like the biggest up there with you guys. <laughs> Love it. And me and her would fight about it back and forth because I just wasn't that diehard. And then I was like, let's play this fucking album over and over and over again. Love it. So then I listened to this album and I liked it. Mm-hmm. I think I need to listen to it a bunch of times more to like really feel what you guys are feeling because yeah. I think you guys are actually fucking nuts. I do. I, I think <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. are nuts. That's, Why? That's, what what tells you that? That we were walking around Target for three hours on Friday? <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was, was like tough. a little sign. That I was think tough. Here, that was a tough scene. <laughs> it's tough scene. My tough scene. thing with these albums and the the, the drop is that immediately immediately everyone's like this is the best fucking thing ever Mm -hmm. without digesting every part of it like for me i have to digest the song i agree and think about the lyrics and i need to hear one note yeah you guys hear one piano drop and it's boom this is the best fucking thing ever and i'm like i can tell if i don't like it or not but i i do need a little time like after uh when everything came out on friday i had people two hours later being like so what are your favorites I'm like bitch I listened to it once and like one and a half yeah. times through yeah. like I need to I and need that's a few days. why things today, always like, change I, uh, I, I did my like uh, lyric breakdown on the blog and it still feels too soon for that like that's mm-hmm. why I don't rank them like I wouldn't rank a, a song right now like I have the, my favorites of the moment but I yeah, they every, change every day every like, hour every, I have a new favorite yeah song. exactly it just constantly changes the songs are um, like you said you listen to them over and over again are it, and eventually you start to like them. I feel like they, that's always how her albums are. Like it's just kind of, they grow on you. You yeah. know what I mean? I think that 
What was I just going to say? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, mm. I feel it's better we're doing this on Monday rather than the day after it came out. Oh, because for sure. People yeah, have sure. had a lot of time days. to listen to yeah. it all throughout the weekend. For sure. And I, after my first listen, wasn't like I was like I don't even know what I like, yeah. like or don't like. People, but then people, I listened to my it. my fucking producer, your sister Gia, yeah, uh, she didn't it. like it on me first and, listen. Me and Gia did. But she's back around now. She's back around. She's back. Yeah, she's back. She's back. I've done that with plenty of Taylor songs where. More recently, I think just because I like what she's done more recently, I'm very yeah. quick to be like, I love this. Like, this is very reactionary. Midnight's is my second favorite album of hers of all time. Really? Folklore's one, Midnight's two. Yeah. Very reactionary. I understand that. Yeah. But, yeah, but currently, I would have it. Fair. I have it ranked number two. So, did so, you like the Lover album? Lover I feel was like so you so. didn't really like that. Yeah. I, feel like you, I feel like I actually. Can, you that's talk, I, I remember you like kind of being wishy washy talking shit a little bit when it was coming out on Twitter and I remember being pissed off because I love <laughs> the Lover album. Like, I've I, recently I, started weird to is, like I don't know why I just like really love it's it. It's nice but... to have a friend is yeah. one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Well, well, I'm going to bring that up again later because there's a song on here that reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. And I think of you because I know you love that song. Mm -hmm. Gia went to a Noah Khan concert yeah. Thursday night. Dude that album's good too. Though. Exactly. So good. Which is why I think like when she posted that I, I was texting her too I was like I think you're coming off of a concert that you loved and was so good that now you're it's too much of a shift yeah yeah, like yes. the, to be li to mm -hmm. listen i was like S go to sleep try again tomorrow <laughs> yes yeah completely. he's like yeah you're probably right you're probably right, right. completely and that's what that's what you have to do and i i will say my gut my gut um on this one was and i think it's because she shifts so like folklore mm -hmm. evermore same kind of sound mm -hmm. this was like and then and then she does the re-releases, so then I have like the re-release in my head of because mm -hmm. then I listen like to those red. all over again. Yeah. Yes, like listening to Red so much, mm -hmm. and then she does Midnight's. And my first listen through, I was like, okay, I like it. I was probably like a little underwhelmed. I wasn't like, oh my god. Yeah. I would say it took me till Sunday to keep listening more to be like okay there's definitely a lot that i like and some that i'm just kind of like really eh on yeah yeah the i just i have a feeling this pretty like mad pop on. the pop mix is kind of my f favorite taylor swift mm -hmm. i don't know but i think because i was also used to the folklore evermore that it was a little bit of a shift. This is kind of a mix. I was gonna say, I thought yeah. this was a perfect blend of yeah, both. Yeah, it is yeah. a mix. It's got like the heavier But it tones. made me, because when she does step into the pop more, mm -hmm. when those songs happen, I'm waiting for like a big moment. Yeah. In, and I don't musically know how to describe it, but like it, like in an all too well, like screaming yeah, at the top like, of yeah, my lungs, like, like, like a bridge for a bridge, or like yeah, a bridge yeah. that really just fucking gets me. You're like, what I is it? You wrote in your notes, in was it vigilante shit where you wrote like, it was cool and then you expected it to change? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I agreed with right. that because I, I liked it and I thought it was cool, but I expected like you said, yeah, like, like a drop. Like yeah. Midnight Rain and Midnight Mastermind, Rain. I, I kept Rain. thinking there was going to be like some massive like take Something me like home bridge moment. Moment. that I would have yeah. lost it. Yeah, yeah. And it still kind of changed, but I do very much like, yeah. I liked what I heard. When you guys listen to a new album of any artist or Taylor Swift, do you then go back and listen to your favorite album from that artist? Like, did you go back and listen to, you, did you say Folklore was folklore your number one? Favorite. Did you go yeah. back and listen to Folklore no, after this? No, I just had this on repeat. And I actually have, I placed yeah. in some Noah Khan, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I've had, I've had <laughs> yeah, Midnight's yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. I have issues I've where I just immediately too. go back to, like, yeah. I listened to Midnight's and then what I did was on Saturday, I had to do a little bit of driving. And mm -hmm. so I was in the car for a while and I was like, that's, I think the perfect way to listen to a new album is yeah, when I you're in the car. That. Totally. And then I started to really enjoy the songs because you just zone out, you listen. Completely. But then I was listening through and I was like, fuck, I'm putting on 1989. And then I just <laughs> yeah. started jamming out because I was like, oh, I just love, it just like reminds me of. It's true. It, it does. happened the it same thing with of... Harry Styles when I listened to uh, Harry's house. And I right. still, that one didn't grow on me like Taylor Swift's album grew on me, which is shocking because yeah, I'm, I'm way more that. a Harry girl yeah. than a Taylor girl. Yeah, yeah. But immediately I went back to listen to Fine Line and I was like, this is it. Yeah, you're a Fine Line girl yeah. for sure. I love Fine Line too. I think Fine right. Line's so good. Um, I think that the, hold on. I forgot what I was going to say. This was, I was no, saying. no. She, okay, so I do, <gasps> I the album as a whole is very impressive because I do feel it to be very oh, mature. Yeah. Like it felt very, I mean, besides, of course, you throw like Karma and Vigilante shit on there. Yeah. But it's all from different times written you know written from different times you kind of have to like play the guessing game yeah and i do always just love when we get back to 
songs that she writes about like herself you know? I, I know I like, love that too I love the that folklore too. and the evermore was like yeah. that's fun and I know she was like storytelling and all yeah, that stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. but this I'm like yeah let's get back to you can play a little bit of detective work let's get back to the guessing game play a little bit of detective work like how invested Taylor I am Taylor TikTok has been wild yeah, in, yeah, in, like, yeah. in Taylor's like I, it's actually criticism of Barstool a lot like oh no one loves Barstool like Barstool loves Barstool because yeah. we, we do a lot mm-hmm. of inner mm-hmm. you know beef or whatever and but like I love Taylor loving Taylor. Yeah, when no, like same, Taylor's same. relationship I love her with, confidence. with her fame, with her her own not mortality, but like her own inner self when she gets introspective, her relationship with relationships. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm fucking in. But the people all love that, that. Like, and you see how you said you love that, and then people say, yeah. oh, nobody loves Barcelona." Well, the people love when people at Barcelona yeah, talk yeah, about right. the yeah, things yeah, here. Yeah. So it's, it's sort true, of like that. True. Kelly, what were you gonna say? Um, I was gonna say that uh, similar to you driving and listening to an album, feeling good about it. Um, when I wa- was walking over to to meet with you and Pavs to go down to Target, mm. that's like the first time I was walking outside with the mm-hmm. album yeah. on in my ears, and I was like, "Oh fuck yes!" Like I was like, "No, yeah. no this is good." It's totally and different. And at that setting. moment, yeah. right? At that moment, I was listening to um, Labyrinth, which is like just mm-hmm. you know, a, not not so fast, not so upbeat, but a little bit of like a like heart wrenching, like oh no, I'm afraid to fall in love situation, and I just ooh, I loved when it. you I can was put really yourself loving it when you can use that music as the backdrop to the movie of your life. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. particularly that's when you walk favorite. out of New York yeah. City. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're like, yeah, it's the greatest movie star. Right that was that. That, that was me walking. Exactly. Work. <laughs> also, exactly. I had that in my headphones walking around. Any song yeah. named Labyrinth is. I love it. Guaranteed to be a good yeah. song. Yeah, love it. <laughs> love it. Love the word labyrinth. Love yeah. the movie with David Bowie. Yes, like, I was gonna say it. the David Bowie the movie. Of course. Bowie movie. Yeah, of course. Should we go through the songs? Let's go top. No, probably not going to grade them, but we'll we can talk about them. Should we I think at the end we can give our rank. Like I think we can give. Like our top, top, top three, top five. five. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, I think that's the easier way okay. to do it. I agree with that because I yeah, find I find it very hard to like grades. I, yeah. I agree. It's, Speaking of grades, this got a it. seven on Pitchfork, which is basically a hundred. Yes. Oh really? I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see this pit- album I, has I'm maybe just, been one of her book. most, cr- and it's hard because it feels like they're also critically acclaimed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. like all, all the reviews are always good. Like I yeah. don't know if she's really put out a stinker like no. ever, and it's actually insane. She's put out so many studio albums, and yeah. every time, like she it is so it. critically praised. I mean, like, I, 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 I see Pitchfork give like a lot of ones and twos. So seeing yeah. it a seven, well, Pitchfork, I, like, I usually don't even bother with Pitchfork. Me neither. Usually assholes. But, but, like, but then I was yeah. like, well, I gotta see. Well, now they know. Here they finally know what they're talking about. Um, So I feel like this is kind of hypocritical to say because I feel like it's kind of the case for a lot of artists. But sometimes when I listen to Taylor's songs, I'm like, they all kind of sound the same to me, right? Like, they just all have a similar... I think that's sound, just, all, but then I think about oh I love rap. One. Okay, how yeah. many of Drake songs sound alike? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly the comparison to me. I was gonna make. Like, like I don't really like like Drake that much, so everything I no, I don't dislike Drake, but just it's not mm-hmm. a genre of music I put on that often. Yeah, and like every time a Drake song comes on, I'm like. I've heard this song 10 million times before. Yeah. Right. So, so I, mean, so I feel like either I way, that that's why. Exactly. But yeah. he is coming out with an album I like, on Friday uh, with 21 Savage, which I'm excited yeah, about. Right. I, oh, I know wow. everyone's dying to do a listening party for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I, um, I like the fact that, uh, oh my God, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. Really? Yes. What did you just say? I just said about how I think that a lot Taylor of Taylor's songs, songs, songs sound alike, but I'm oh, but yeah, I am acknowledging okay. the fact I that, that I think that, it's the same for no, I, other I totally very popular. Agree. I totally agree, and artists. I think that they all kind of like intertwine. Like I feel like there are bits and pieces of each song that like you could pick them out and put them all in a line, and they would make like one of the other songs she has. I also like that a lot of her songs are kind of. Not predictable, but predictable. Yeah. Like I feel like whenever mm-hmm. I'm listening to them, it's easy to learn and memorize her lyrics, her songs, whatever, because they like after the first chorus, I can like sing along. You yeah, know? yeah. I feel like I can guess and where d- this is gonna go, and it, and it feels. Does good. this sound silly? That I also feel like that comes from it being just her like voice, like you know, you know, like it's oh, just it like be. yeah, like that's just her just sound. Like her yeah. sound. Yeah. I, like, I could see that. Right. She yeah. sounds. The same. She uses, yeah. she uses Jack Antonoff and she's yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's just like yeah. the, the, a lot of the beats, or I don't even sure. know what you would yeah. call it. Beats. Right. Well, yeah. that's, <laughs> just, but, just but that's sound, like that yeah. comes from where Fights is saying like she works with so, so many of the same producers. Yeah. That yeah. That yes. Like mm-hmm. you can tell like the Jack Antonoff has. Right. A sound yeah. completely like Midnight Rain was maybe pop. one of the only songs where I was like, "Oh, it start different." You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it didn't yeah, start yeah. how also, it Midnight usually Rain, does. We'll get to it, I'm sure. But like a, a question we can answer later: 
Do we know who is singing that beginning of Midnight Rain and who sings that? I was like, I was like, is that Taylor? I think it's just her. It must be because I love it. It's like, I love it. Yeah, it's like sexy. Right? No, exactly. Like it sounds different. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think it's just her, and it's the same one. Like that, it kind of changes in Labyrinth too. Like, yeah, I think it's just her. Just like it must be. Right. Um. Okay. We can let's go through them. There's obviously she put out 13 songs, and then bam, she hit us with seven more songs at 3 a.m., which was just like. I will. I did not stay awake, and when I woke up, I was just like, "There's seven more songs." Ke- <laughs> Keith and I had surprise. plans to go to that uh, that Target, mm-hmm. at the Tribeca Target. There were rumors yeah. that who told you that? Uh, I got a DM, uh. and it was somebody who was like, "My sister's friend works at Target." Like, it sounds crazy. I know it sounds yeah. like why are you listening to this person? But I replied, and I was like, "Oh shit, for real? Are you trolling?" And they're like, "No, I'm not, I'm not wait, trolling. are you lying to me? You, have, yeah, you yeah, have to tell yeah, me." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know like, you're a no, stranger. You're gonna tell me. They're like, "No, seriously." Like, was it really a girl are, or a like, guy? It was a guy talking about his sister. But oh, then when we got there, see, usually I trust the girls. I would I, trust the girls too, but it, but I. I I looked through his Twitter, he seemed trustworthy. <laughs> so then, so I was like, all right. So I, in in my head, I'm like, all right, am I really gonna get up at eight in the morning? First of all, I never get up at eight. You guys know, yeah. well, what yeah. is this? I had to be here at 10.30 today, and it's like, I it's whoop, my brain's not on. <laughs> and um, so I'm like, 8 a.m., okay. I sent it to him being like, oh shit. And he's like, wow, we're like, we're going, blah, blah, blah. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, right, we're not going. And then I sent it to my other friends, and they were also super hype about it. They're like, let's fucking go. They all bailed. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, Pabs is coming also. We'll like make a video out of it. I was like, all right, great. So now we're, we're for sure going. And in my head, I'm like, I don't know if this is real or not. Like, this is just all of this I could love be a disaster. <laughs> but also, I expected but there, there were people the that did show up. Like, there were other girls there Kelly. being like, we took a train from Connecticut at 5 a.m. Like, people. There were, I will give keys it. There were other people. There were there other people who heard well. the same rumor that yeah, were not Yeah, I saw a girl t- took a picture with you. Yeah, I yeah. texted Kelly in the morning and was like, how's it going? I said, are there a lot of people there? Because in my mind, <laughs> I, I yeah. didn't know the background of how she came to find out this information. Yeah. So, in my mind, I'm thinking like, Crowded streets, like yeah, so. Like, when in we a line, line. there was no one. So I said, I was distraught. I was like, Kelly, are there a lot of people there? Just yeah, there's a lot, probably like fifteen. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my that's god, a huge exaggeration. Okay, it was three. Not, that was not. I was like, no, that is not. not what what I was paying attention. Later, in, came. later in the day, more people came. I also yes. say this. For the first two hours, it was just us. Yeah. I hate that target. That used to be my target. Oh yeah, and I hate that target. Yeah. Yeah. We like, know every square inch of it now. And the people there. There's a confusing in there. You know, nothing is where you think it's supposed to be. I will say that. Like now. I know where everything is in the Target, but like when we were first walking <laughs> course, around it, you the, know, flow, every aisle, the flow wasn't the flow really was getting off, me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But also yeah. when we got there, we had, I think we blurred the woman's face out in the video. Oh yeah. But I, I jokingly like for the video asked like, excuse me, is Taylor Swift here? And the yeah. woman, <laughs> the yeah. woman, and I, and I kind of just kept it moving. So like I was just, you know, I thought no chance she gives an yeah. actual reply. Yeah. And she like looked at the camera and if you see like the unblurred version, she's like, I'm not laughing at you. Like she like made a face. She was, that's she was like, like, well, and then he was like, ah, how, please, like whatever. I was like, no, no, no. I was, and I said, uh, oh, are you laughing at us? And she was like, no, I'm not laughing at you. And then me and Pat, he had already been walking away, and Pavs and I saw it, and I was like, did you fucking see that? And he's like, I saw it, and I'm convinced she's coming. Yeah, once, and, once pa- so Pavs we got okay, on board, Pavs wh- like, wait, yeah. she is coming. Yeah. Wait, why though was she supposed to be going? What was the why? I guess did they she, say- she lives like two. Yeah. Our new apartment's like two blocks away from that Target, mm. and I guess they somebody called ahead and said like she might stop by to get her new um, album because she does that. She goes to a Target, she buys it, and then she like takes pictures usually with her mom. It's usually also like in Nashville. Like I feel yeah. like it's she does that every time she has a new album. And so they thought, well, she's in New York. She's one block away. She's probably coming here. And they were preparing for it. Like They, they, they were. There yeah. were security around. Like They were all walkie-talkie in, <laughs> talking to each other. Like, like, it was, no joke. Dude, we're for, not. It was, for an hour, Keegs was panicking that we were going to get kicked out. I was like, yeah. Kelly, First of all, you're buying something. Lingering. You're holding. We're, we are literal customers. We're not just like kind of sitting yeah. here. We were loitering are, bad. Like we were, we're loitering, obviously. But we weren't loitering. We were shopping. That happens yeah. at Target all the time. We were walking I, and looking I, at stuff. For I three hours? was saying yeah. though, like in my head, I'm like, you know what? That's a great place to wait around for somebody though. You can yeah. get really distracted at a Target. There's yeah, there so was many a, things to look yeah, at. Yeah, there's lots. We were we were pretty good. But then, I but then also every, like every candle smelled every lotion. Think about think about the amount of people who have been in a Tribeca in the Tribeca Target who have been just derelicts. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. genuine homeless people. Yeah. Yep. And Kelly's walking around with a Taylor Swift CD and nice jacket and like she's like, they're gonna kick us out. Like, I assure you they they're were, not gonna <laughs> kick you out. <laughs> they were talking shit about us. Like the people that were working there were getting frustrated by all the pe- the 
the tiny groups of two or three walking around in circles waiting to see if Taylor Swift is coming. They were talking shit. And I kept saying that to, to them. And they were like, you're crazy. You're crazy. Like, you're not a little kid. Like, they're not going to kick you out of the store. Like, you feel like you're going to get in trouble at school. I was like, no. But loitering. And then, right. It was hilarious. But then we later, like, we, talked to, we talked to one of the other girls. And the other girls were like, oh, my God. Yeah, the people here are, like, so pissed that we just keep walking around. I'm like, thank you. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. I could hear them talking shit about us. But it was hilarious, like, how easy it was for us to convince ourselves that, like, something was going down. Like, there would be, like, <laughs> yeah. there would be, like oh, yeah. three employees, like, rearranging, like, the same I've crack. There, and we're like, that we're like, yeah. look at, look at, they, they haven't moved in, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I bet she's going to come through that door. And it's like, no, it's three 20 like, year olds who are fucking perfectly. off at work. Like, yeah, like, and, and they're, they're also preparing. bored. Like, right, they, exactly. they've yeah. reorganized the shelves so many times, they're <laughs> yeah. just doing it again. It's 9 a.m. Yeah. Like, they're just, they have nothing to do. But they were, they were perfectly positioned to, like, see the, the midnight's. You know, racks, whatever they had up. Do you with guys the CDs know on. who the lookalike Ashley is on TikTok? Oh my God, have no. you seen her? I, I've only seen yeah, that. I've seen, I've seen her. Okay, so I think I she seen. walked outside of the Target. Of ours? Uh, I, I think oh, she might have. people now, were yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Squatters' rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> I, love, I love that it's ours. Uh, and uh, people were like outside and they were like, oh my God, it's Taylor. And then mm-hmm. somebody screamed, it's just Ashley. <laughs> no, it's Ashley. And now yeah, it's, a thing, it's a Damn. thing going around on TikTok being like, it's just she, Ashley. I mean, she, she looks real, exactly okay. fucking like her. She like, looks exactly crazy. like her. She does it on purpose, right? Like I'm she's like a cosplayer. real estate agent or somebody like gave her a tour of her the old Cordelia Street apartment what? but because she like looks just right like well her. Taylor has oh. Taylor has acknowledged her because I think Taylor oh, said has. like my mom showed me whatever yeah. okay I think she did very much look like her but now she walks around like with red lipstick on oh, well, so you know what I mean like into it like bitch would you have been wearing red lipstick if you didn't know Taylor no, Swift nobody red lipstick red li- no. the only person who wears red lipstick out in the streets is Taylor Swift like right. that's so like, it's nobody like, just wears red lipstick right so she's really, <laughs> really? playing into it yeah it's so difficult no, to when's the on last lips? time you saw somebody wearing red lipstick I, don't, I, I guess like I've really been conscious of it I don't really notice red lipstick is a fucking mess just in a flannel like I'm throwing on my flannel and red lipstick I didn't know that was a thing that you did Honestly, God, really? I would say all three of you have red lipstick on right now. Are you okay? Uh, oh all right, let's get into so John, John, John doesn't know. John doesn't know. My lips have red. never looked paler in my life. And he's saying John's I don't think I have red blind. lipstick. We'll, we'll establish there's some color color blindness yep, going on. Yep. I'm sorry about that. We'll get you those glasses. It's, I mean, it's, it's not the the red red, but I would yeah. I would say you all three have red lipstick on. Right no, now. I don't think any of us are wearing lipstick. I have nothing on in, my in lips. any way, nope. shape, so or much so they're so chappy, biting them. Oh, that's my biggest nightmare. People looking at my lips and having the white stuff on it. Like we're so close. I'm like, I just want my lips. Right, right. Like, and then I go like this, and I was like, "Oh, okay, oh, guys." <laughs> songs. Thanks, Fran. Mm. Songs. Lavender, Lavender Hayes is number one. Lavender Zoe Hayes. Kravitz is credited on this song. Yes. Yeah, that's She's wild. Pretty cool. So you know, is. when I heard that Zoe Kravitz was, <laughs> I've had way more to say on this than I thought. Before you guys <laughs> came drop. in, I was like, I'm just gonna sit there and not talk. <laughs> you tried yeah, to get I'm out, out of the, on the couch. Yeah, you tried to get out of the, um, out of here. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> thought that Zoe Kravitz was going to be the writer on High Infidelity because of her show. Great show. Oh, true. Yeah. I love High that Fidelity. show. Love that Anyways, show. That's good, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Or, that's, yeah, that's a good thought. That's good a good observation. Thought. I like Thank that. You. Not bad. Not bad. Um, has Zoe Kravitz ever done anything in music before? Obviously, she comes from a very musically talented family. But mm. does she have like other credits? Or is this just like a? Uh, I'll be honest, songs? I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure. Might. I just assumed she did and didn't do the research for that because I just was like, oh well, Zoe. I don't. Kravitz, I, I like, think obviously. someone tweeted me like one other song she was in, but yeah. I don't think she has. Like she was like featured, I think. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think she has any of her own music. So, I don't. Yeah. Th- I'm not so sure either. Lavender Haze is ones where it's right at the top of the album. I feel like. Um, and I was very deep in Taylor TikTok, so like I just have conspiracies Love up it. the wazoo, really. Mm-hmm. And the Gaylor fan base, of course, really thought Lavender Hayes was like gonna be Gaylor, like, like a big gay like, Taylor like Swift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you haven't don't seen know about Gaylor? No, no, I don't know <laughs> that Gaylor. Is a thing. Yeah. I put it together, yeah. but I was like, "What the fuck is yeah, Gaylor?" And then and I was like, "Is France saying this right now?" Like, I was like, no, "Wait a second. That's literally that's like the there's a whole. Well, everyone says community. like lavenders the she's bisexual, bisexual. Color. Like yeah. people say that. So people that. are really holding on to Taylor Swift having multiple yeah relationships. It bothers me. Like currently, it bothers me how much how much people are like talking about it all the time when she doesn't she always has said i like i don't really want to talk about that like she said it a billion times i don't really want to talk about it and people still do it anyway i like, think rolling stone made the whole fucking really hold on it. to like, doesn't make her sense to having me. multiple female relationships yeah. in the past and they're like taylor swift is gay mm-hmm. but it's like 
She has never said it. They but do the they same thing to Taylor think, Swift that they do to Shawn Mendes. And yeah. also Harry Styles. And Harry Styles, yeah. Um, I think there also is something, too, that like, I, I completely understand. Like I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But there is a... I don't want to say give up the right because that's not the case at all. But like when you talk about everything ever, mm-hmm. I get being like, this is the one I just want myself. Mm-hmm. But people aren't used to that. And that. all yeah. her like, song lyrics, I think that people are always trying to interpret interpret into that. Mm-hmm. And then did you see Carly Kloss's TikTok that was showing up on everyone's For You page? She has never shown up on my For You page before. And yeah. she did the other day. She was wearing a midnight blue dress. And uh, it was, and then every yeah, it's, comment, no, it's every comment on TikTok yeah, was like, something. "Oh, Carly oh my Claus God, can't she, post anything." She's without. filming a video with Taylor Swift. That's Taylor's mm-hmm. laugh. Like people are yeah. so yeah. convinced. She was posting. But Cla- isn't Carly Claus married? Like, yes. Yeah, she's married. Yes, she's married to a Kushner. And she just yeah, and she just posted like it's, it was their anniversary the other day. Like, yeah, she just posted like this big, which is why people also were really holding on to. Um, Question is the other one that they thought. Yeah. About, oh, about I, yeah, Carly Clay. I don't think at all. That song gives me fucking PTSD. I love, yeah. I love just, that song. It's, it's I, like, I like it very much, but it's just. It's for crazy it, girls. It, it's, it's so much. Yeah. Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. That song is for crazy girls. Who like, are, no, like, no, you can't ask me a question. Who are fishing for information. Right. And I fucking love it. And wait, wait, wait. Even the way she just says like that. It's just a question. Like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. That was never. It's never just a question. I have something to say about Lavender Yes, go ahead. This, one of the lyrics in the song the and you don't really read into my melancholia love love the use of melancholia here love any she's, sort of I mean, she's melancholy something. melancholia are you noticing um also in the teaser trailer that she's uh just dipping right into that uh bridgerton type marie antoinette vibe and Mer- melancholia the movie starring kirsten dunst i just feel like it all there's a movie you don't know the movie Melancholia? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's fabulous. It's sad. It's a sad movie, but it's good. It's got. Uh, I love it. I, I would. Me. Melancholia yeah. is a yeah, sad yeah, one. Yeah, yeah Melancholia is <laughs> a sad one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you guess. say yeah. fabulous, yeah. I'm like, damn, it's good. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, Melancholy is good. Uh, but um, yeah, it's another like like old century type uh, type movie. Yeah. And is that's there how. Another movie with Kirsten Dunst that you always recommend? Uh, Marie Antoinette, probably. Mm. Well, I don't know. Um, oh, maybe The Virgin Suicides. I yes, yes, love that movie. yes, yes, <laughs> that's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> movie is so good. I actually think I watch it. Anyways. Oh, it's so Sorry. good. Um, so good. Lav- I will say like. I'm Lavender Haze is growing oh. on me more and more after the first listen. I was like, eh, but the first listen, is. I was like, yeah, the yeah. First, the first listen, same. I didn't really like to it. me. It felt very much like, uh, like her single. You know how yeah. like, her yeah. single is always like the worst song on the album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was when the, the my first listen to this, I was like, oh, that's the single that she just never put out. Yeah, Completely. because this is not good. Yeah, but I also it, like, I'm, it's also very much grown on me as well. I also like from this too. The all they keep asking me is if I'm going to be your bride. The only kind of girl they see is a one night or a wife. Yeah. So she's just sick. It she's sick me... of these boxes they keep putting her in. She's sick of uh, right. First she dated the too much. She was jumping around. Yeah. Now she's now she's been mm-hmm. in this relationship for too long. When's she mm-hmm. going to be get married? Yep. Mm-hmm. And and uh, again, can't just, like can't just live in that a lot of Joe Alwyn. There's always people love to go. People love. I think especially fans too love to go to her, to her past relationships mm-hmm. and I know she said like oh I wrote these songs are like different times in my life but so many people jump she's been in this relationship for six years a lot yeah. of material but they jump to like Tom Hiddleston Taylor Lautner like all these yeah. like old relationships right. that I'm like Lautner. how know, many please. songs is she writing about <laughs> is she wasting like, a Taylor, single breath exactly. Taylor Lautner, Taylor Lautner. Like, not I'm like, a fucking now married chance. to Taylor Lautner yeah. Yeah. I'm like not Same. a fucking chance yeah. how many yeah. Taylor Lautner songs does she have <laughs> zero. in the vault that she like, needs I bet, I, I bet it's zero this, I, can't, so, I can't imagine he's ever uh, peaked any sort yeah. of real emotion yes um, this is the first um, unbelievable Wait, shoot, I was, was going to say. Oh, this is the first album where I realized that, and maybe it's because I'm dumb, that Joe Alwyn is a dude. I just thought he was like a guy. I didn't know he's like like the dude. Oh, like he's cool? Like yeah. you, you, you didn't realize how cool I, he was? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, oh, that's, uh, that's on you. Because yeah. <laughs> it's been very clear how fucking cool he is. I, I, got, I honestly, before, he's I've so seen crazy. a lot more. Wait, how so did you get hot. that from this album, though? Like, I, I first of all, I really like the song he co-wrote. And then just, yeah. like, I've been, like, following, like, the, the Taylor pictures. Twitter to yeah. the pictures. I'm like, oh, that dude's handsome. He's so oh, hot. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you not see the, did you not see The Favorite? No. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. I can't get into it. I hated that movie, I think. Oh my Is that God. the one with Emma Stone? Yes. I'm not surprised. That doesn't seem like I your genre. I fucking hated that Your Yorgos Lanthimos? I fucking love a Yorgos movie. He was also in, um, what's the Hulu show? Conversations oh my God, with Friends. Conversations with Friends. 
Conversations with friends? I haven't seen that one. That's the follow-up to normal people, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The way you said that was like it was one of your favorite oh, I know. I know the I book. I haven't watched that one. I know the no, book. Yeah, you have not seen it yet? No, I haven't seen he's it. He's, the, he's like the star. Oh, okay. You got Today. Today you got to watch okay. it. Okay. You're going to, oof. Ooh, I love him. John's leaving, John's leaving. John's leaving with a lot of homework. Yeah, yeah. Did you like normal people? Did you watch normal people? I didn't watch normal people. Oh, it's, you it's watch so crushing. Things. It's unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you don't always love like the sad stuff though. Like, I don't that's like not being your, sad. I'm very yeah, happy. it's not your vibe. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not always your vibe. But, Sarah, but so if you're she's a, told you to watch Melancholia, yeah. or something called The Virgin I'm always Suicides. Suicides. I usually watch The Virgin yeah, Suicides yeah, yeah. though, well, and that is a good movie. That's just a good movie. That's like a '90s movie or late 2000s movie, whatever. But it's Kirsten Dunst. They're like the She's she has sisters. three sisters, yeah. four sisters, whatever it is, and they all like kill themselves. Like it's a whole oh, thing. Oh, right, you're right. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. a good movie though. It's a really good movie. It's you would like you would like it. Okay. All these things that I'm suggesting, I know. That no, you well, would like I, the favorite I liked. I, of course. Yeah. You, I, I I, you know, it. I like a period piece. That's what I'm saying. A period piece. <laughs> yeah. That's more so what I meant. I love a period about piece. I like, hate look and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love anything. It's a bunch of shit already happened. Maroon. Love it. Is number two that immediately brought the? Right I was like, up. yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. I, yeah. this is, and is there's great. just something I, so I love nervous. that she sticks with the shade of red. Like it's me just, too. me too. I love that. You know, maroon is my favorite color of all time. It always has been. Really, that's my number one color is maroon. Really, and it's tough in the summertime because it's like no, oh. maroon doesn't really play oh. in the summer. Yeah, no, but that's why I love fall so much. For maroon, very Gryffindor and, of you. Uh, yeah, you right? also like. If I were to describe you in one color, it would be maroon. I love that. Wow, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> with this, with this song, I. Um, what color would you describe me as? <laughs> I don't, oh. I'm trying to think. Either like a like a powerful color, like a like a real like a primary color, maybe like a blue. I was gonna say navy blue. Yeah, like a. Oh. But like a true blue. I never really looked at myself as not a, blue. a navy. No, I don't think I would do navy. navy. I think I'd be either like true blue or like a maybe lavender. No, not, that was a joke about. Being <laughs> yeah. <like kids. laughs> I when I was I'm trying to think, I have to think about it. Okay, let me know. A bold color. When I was younger, I would try to be different and say that my favorite color was baby blue. Mm. I you mean, know of course. I mean? That was very that. popular for my yeah. group. Yeah. Not it was. Just blue, baby, but blue. But baby blue. Baby blue. Of course, baby blue. People also like, like love saying like indigo or like yeah, of course. turquoise. I actually love indigo. <laughs> yes. Turquoise, please. Um, maroon. I, I loved maroon. I uh, loved justice the, for screw top rose. By the way, screw top rose. <laughs> also, <laughs> please, no, it needs no justice. There was a, there was no some um, there was some Harry. People thought maybe Harry or Tom Hiddleston. I think it's very much like a, a song about. It's like a quick. It seems like a yeah. quick, fast. She's got New York romance. She's got New York in it. In yeah, it. Uh, yeah, quick, fast romance yeah. that like burn bright, die young. Like first yeah. time we're hanging out, it's like, whoa, this is fun and cute and cool. Screw top rose. We're laying on the ground. Like yeah. we're crazy. And then a couple weeks later, it's like this fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah. I think I think yeah. everyone's got one of those relationships. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I'm stacking like, up a couple. Right. <laughs> I liked. Um, like I, I thought I had my feel, not quite. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the. Uh, in the chorus, she says, the rust that grew between telephones. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. That's a cute line. I love that too. So was it the rust that grew? The rust that grew between telephones. I love that. Just like, you know, you're on the phone all the time. Just ima like it's just imagining that line yep. always. Yep. You're always in communication. Talking but then, so but much then rust it... wouldn't grow. Yeah, but you're, it's like rust being... is unused. That's a good point. <laughs> I was just thinking right, of meaning it like they're more not gonna, like he's not calling. Oh, okay, okay. So it's yeah. after the relationship. I see now. I see oh yeah, yeah. The, I the was singing shifts, during. I was like halfway during. through. Yeah. It okay. shifts. I also liked the line of uh, uh, "carnations you had thought were roses." That's us. I, I kind of, I, I feel like guys will get carnations for girls sometimes, mm. thinking like, "Oh, these are pretty flowers," and it's like a carnation. Yeah. But I've tried to, in my head, change the narrative on carnations because now I feel bad for them. You know, like I feel like everybody kind of talks shit like they're a white trash flower, but I think I Are like them. Carnations like a death flower. I think that they might be something. But yeah, they're like a. They're like a. In yeah. memoriam. When you get that picture up, they get a bad rap. They get a bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They get a bad rap. They get a bad rap. But I liked that carnations you, that you thought were roses. That's us being like. You know, all right, look, like I, was, I, I was ready to, to defend um, whoever this was. If you think a carnation is a rose, you're the dumbest person alive. Oh, <laughs> no, I know. But it's like you see a pr it, honestly, though, g guys are stupid. Oh, guys yeah, are so those, dumb. I've seen those before. I mean, I, I've seen you this flower, but never have yeah. I thought, yeah, I just don't know a flowers, a, a lot of flowers. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know I've seen Beauty and the Beast, I know what a rose is. I know the top five. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, you think, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but I also like that she acknowledges, like, oh, that's us. Like, it's just, it's not perfect. It's not so romantic. It's not like there's not a lot of thought into it. You just like went to the bodega yeah. and got me carnation. Yeah, these are the yeah. best kind of relationships. So, yeah, 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 they are. They I are. Uh, it, I love Antihero. 
I just Obsessed. feel like that is her most I mean, come on. introspective <laughs> song she's ever written. My come friends, on, my dude. friends, the hero. It, the, and the music when, video was so good. When you were saying, and I, I guess I, the bridge, I guess, isn't really so anthemic or whatever you yeah. want to say. Like you yeah. don't really get to scream uh, it, but anthemic. But like the that. the the chorus itself yeah. is yes, it's flawless. It it's is. just it's really good. It's just perfect. It's really good, and th this is the song that, uh, not to make it about me again, as usual, um, <laughs> this is song my friends keep texting me about, being like, wow, Kelly, like this song is so yours, whatever, because she says the whole beginning is very much like, just shit, I would say, like, um, uh, midnight's become my afternoons. I'm fully awake, like it's the middle of the afternoon, yeah, yeah. midnight, every day. Like, <laughs> if, like it's just that when my depression works the graveyard shift, all the people I have ghosts that are standing there in the room, like it's just, I, I love the imagery of it, and Yes, we got the music video for the song, and I think that helped a little bit with it. But I still really, I, I I don't know. I love I love how it how we're supposed to picture it. I also like the uh, I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. Yep. Fucking like I, I like, like that. What you said the the self awareness of yeah. this. It's like crazy. Everything everything in this song, I think. Is is very relatable, which I think is such a funny thing. Where I think like people get like like, and I'm, I'm guilty of the same thing. Where I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this song is so me. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. It's but just like, like sometimes I mean, it's like, damn. We do with every song, and it's like maybe just the human experience isn't that unique. <laughs> like, maybe, <laughs> yeah. Maybe just uh, I think that all the time. I'm like, yeah. I have never had an original experience. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. I'm like, fuck. Like it I sucks. thought this was unique to me, but then also you feel comforted. And I yeah, start getting right. competitive too. I'm like, no, 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 you guys. Like this song is this song is about me. Like, yeah. 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 Like you can't. You sing don't it. relate to it as yeah, much yeah, as yeah. I exactly. do. Exactly. Like I understand. Like you like it, but like it's about me. And and there's just, just so many lines where you hear you hear her say, and you're just like, "How did she? The the um, how do you put them into words. Narcissism, mm -hmm. altruism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Congressman, you're like, did how you do you attack my covert yeah. narcissism? I dis. Do you hear my covert altruism. narcissism? Yeah. I disguise as altruism, like yeah. some kind of congressman. It's like, yeah. How did you? It's amazing. That. It's amazing. I love that line too, and I feel like it's I need line. to shut that down a couple of people's throats. That I <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I fucking, that's, all, altruism is like one, one of my least favorite things in the world. Like, I feel like you can just you can tell when someone's being fake as fuck when they're trying to act like they're doing something nice for other people or doing yeah. something nice for oh, like charity yeah. or the world or whatever. Mm -hmm. Drives me. Uh, we're talking about insane. that pre-show, I believe. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Did we? Oh, we did. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. did. Um, the but like just like I also I think the most relatable part of this song is she's acknowledging all her problems mm -hmm. but she's never really talking about fixing them yeah, oh yeah. no <laughs> she, and she's, also, she's also not really like sorry about it yeah, she's no, like, like well, it's me hi I'm yeah. the problem yeah, it's yeah, me yeah. <laughs> exactly which uh, I love yeah, I love definitely. that acknowledgement but not an apology yeah right yeah <laughs> yeah though yes. you, I am I'll, okay. throw, I'll throw it I'm, I'm working on it but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get there it's like I'm aware of my problems I'm aware of the worst parts of me I'm fine with them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I accept them. Can you? Yeah, exactly. And there are parts of it too where, again, like you, you relate to you, even work wise, where it's like a lot of it, she's like, this must be so tiring for you guys to like like me still. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Aren't you fucking you guys sick of this? Been <laughs> for a long time. Must, go home. must yeah. be exhausting always rooting for the anti hero, right? Yeah. Did you just yeah. say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Snow on the Beach is for, I think the joke here is that everyone, like Lana Del Rey's featured on the song, but everyone's like, can you can, is where Lana is where song? is Lana Del Rey featured Question. on this song? Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She is a part of the chorus allegedly. Yeah. I like when <laughs> Taylor Swift says the f word. Yeah, yeah. Too. Uh, I love when yeah, I'm always like, oh. when the, yeah, when yeah. the I almost crashed my car. Out, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. When the tracklist came out and there were what five or six explicit tags, I was like, oh damn, girls yeah, going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. I was a lot of fuck too. It was almost like was it folklore? I think she did a lot of like shit and bitch and like those things. Maybe like one fuck. This one, every album is like fuck. In folklore, she also has the most like easily misunderstood lyric of all time where it's like she says something like it's not fuck your mouth but it's it's, huh. it's oh, close. we talked about this last one. it's close to like what? Didn't we talk about this? I'm going to find did it. Did we talk about this and did we say like that's only you? No, it's not only me. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay, only okay. me. It is. Um, I don't remember. Snow on the Beach was eh for me. I'll I don't honest. like Snow I on the Beach. I'm like, I had such high expectations because it's Lana Del Rey and Taylor Swift. Yeah. No, yeah. I wanted, I, yeah, and same. I don't, I, I, which I wanted maybe to is why I was a little torn apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah me, and too. I just, me too. I just yeah. wasn't. This and, is but also the lyric, I love the- kind of a nice song. Like yeah, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's a fine song. I, I listened to it and I was like, I had I way it'd be higher like expectations. Depressing. Same, way higher expectations. And um, now currently, it's just it's. 
I'm not saying like I'm skipping the song. I still like it. You know, snow on the beach. Yeah. We but fucking yeah, yeah. Like that's fine. But it's I just am not loving no, it. No, I, I was expecting like Lana Del, Del Rey ballad. Me too. Right. Like something really, you know. Deep, like a. Yeah. It's in bad well, used to love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful. Shit. Yes, like, I that's, needed that. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what yeah. I wanted a line like that. Uh, that's but, in the Great nah. Gatsby movie. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Great soundtrack. Um, yeah, great soundtrack. And also, I, I do love the lyric though. Um, the just like the uh, weird but fucking beautiful because mm-hmm. I can yeah. see just so many girls capturing that for who sure aren't weird at all. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> beautiful. Like, like, I'm not being not insulting. Weird. You're not weird. You're totally yeah, fucking yeah, normal. Yeah. It's like weird but fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, not that weird. No, you're you're, you're totally normal. It's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing about you is original. Does uh, she? Yeah, okay, no, here it is. It's a. Uh, um, do you see my face in the neighbor's lawn? Does she smile or does she mouth fuck you forever? And the way she does says she it. she mouth fuck you forever? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's, mouth like, it's like mouth you. fuck. Okay. What the hell? What Taylor? album is that on? <laughs> uh, it's Mad Woman on Folklore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we did talk about that yeah. when we yeah. reviewed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Does she mouth fuck you forever? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Um, you're on your own. You're on your own, kid. Does she mouth fuck you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own kid is track five, which historically sad. she always puts, you know, a sad mm-hmm. song for track five. Mm. That's um, one of my favorites. It's sad. I cry. Yeah. You're on your own kid is a, it's a beautiful song. It definitely feels like if I had to guess one that was written years ago. Totally. Fe- feels like a, or even just like looking back at her mm-hmm. journey, career. For sure. It's very, um, I, f- I feel, I take from it that the premise of it is that she's kind of like always going after people she's always fighting for their attention fighting for their love and she just never quite gets it like Mm. despite what she does she's always misreading a situation she's not like she thinks these people are in love with her and they're not and that's kind of how she grew up and that's why now she tries so fucking hard because it's like nobody was paying attention back then and it almost seemed like business like (laughs) (laughs) and it's about me and it's again (laughs) about me (laughs) it almost felt like there was some uh, uh, like business undertones to it too of just like getting into the music business and giving herself to like all these people and working her ass off and then not getting like, they're just kind of like, oh, sh- yeah, good for you. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's not like a Completely. big, Wait, a big reward. We didn't we didn't discuss something really important about Antihero. I just noticed that when I went to go scroll, the sexy baby line. Yeah. Do you guys have a problem Rock. with it? Mm. It, is it confirmed? Like a I know joke people from are all saying it. It, it, it is, is it? a joke from Thirty Rock. The, sometimes, sometimes I feel like everybody is a sexy baby. No, no, I know the line, but what's the joke from Thirty Rock? I've I don't seen know. Thirty Rock yeah, a million yeah, times. I don't know. It's joke. a scene. I watched it. It's a scene with uh, <laughs> one of the blonde girls. Yeah, and she's wearing pigtails, and she said, "Like you look like a sexy baby or something." Yeah, and okay, then okay. the girl said, "I am a sexy baby." Okay, yeah. <laughs> love that. Correct. I liked the clip from like um, maybe Toddlers and Tiaras where the guy was like, you little sexy baby, come here. It was hilarious. I thought it was pretty straightforward of what she meant. And I don't know why everyone's freaking out about that. I thought everybody, I was like, everybody's freaking the fuck out. I thought it was very clear. Everyone's like, this is so weird. I thought it was very clear. Like she feels like everyone's like so like cute and sexy. And she's like either, you know, she's like really tall and whatever, or because she's like the most famous person in the world. You tweeted this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's never, she's never like cute and small in a room yeah right? Yeah, yeah right 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 okay that's true i relate um <laughs> you're on your own kid back to that i the line that i love the most from here and i want to tell myself it's uh like a nod to greece is just that i see the great escape so long daisy may i pick the pedals he loves me not and in my head i'm like goodbye to sandra d mm-hmm. no like that's just how i feel yeah. Yeah, i don't know if yeah. taylor's a greece fan i don't know if that yeah. matters but like the whole yeah. message behind that is like oh i'm leaving my my innocence and my like youthful ignorance and whatever behind and i am like i have to grow up now and people, I, thought about I have to this. focus on my work i have to grind my shit and and get it done i get that very much yeah. i for some reason i like when i hear listen to a song i like i grab one line mm. and i'm like okay and i just create a whole story around that. <laughs> sure yeah and sure. like for some reason this song i was thinking about like it's like leaving the person you like like if you're from your hometown who like you would have stayed you for. love to make a song about a hometown yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's your favorite really? thing about taylor yes like you every hometown song of taylor first of all she's talking about leaving her hometown no no, no. Yeah. <laughs> she, so she is easy she twist. is but i feel like that your favorite songs are always like the hometown songs like you like oh um, so this is one of my favorite ones you like john is uh, still stuck on leaving boston no right <laughs> Come to New York. what's the one that you loved so much from folklore that i was surprised by but it was very much about like leaving your town um Oof. uh 
Wait, that was it's Evermore. Not Ivy. I thought maybe it's Evermore. Maybe it's Evermore. It Did we do fucking, an Evermore podcast? As no, well? we didn't. It was. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. The one that like people say is about her to her younger Tis self. Tis the damn season you love. Oh yeah, because I dabbed that shit. That's also yeah. a, that's a hometown. <laughs> that's a hometown song. Oh yeah, that's that's like a. And uh, no, no, I think it was it was folklore because we were. Tis the I, damn I, season is. I from, think it's the one about yeah. where like it's like she calls her Gertrude or something like that. <laughs> Is it Marjorie? Marjorie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Marjorie, Marjorie Gertrude. Is it Marjorie? <laughs> Grandma Same names. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar- Marjorie. Marjorie is, and is... it's also like a hometown song. But I feel like you. I don't know. I just feel like that's you always pick up on the hometown songs and and yeah, I I, yeah. You know, I guess I guess we're expanding something I didn't know about. <laughs> I don't know. I just I noticed that. I noticed that. I'll you write like this songs. one down to bring up later with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should. You should. Um, Midnight Rain is six. Love. This is one of the ones yeah. that TikTok is lo- is jumping all over. I saw a lot of the, the Tom Hiddleston, Taylor Lautner. People were really focused Taylor on the Taylor Lautner. Uh, Why Taylor I know. Lautner? Like, people no, it's were, not Taylor Lautner. People it's were never really him. focused on the uh, I was making my own name because they were yeah. like, oh, if she was Taylor. You know, Taylor, she would have been the Taylor. Oh, come on. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That is a stretch. If you see with Taylor Lautner, she wouldn't be the famous Taylor. (laughs) (laughs) Did they do Taylor Lautner's girlfriend named Taylor Lautner is more famous than Taylor Lautner. (laughs) Yeah, I think there was also, there might be a nod to back to December at some point that people were talking about too. Really? Interesting. Interesting. I like this song a lot. I like this song a lot too. I think that. I, I like think it's excellent. Too. I think there's a lot of good lyrics. I'm trying to think the the uh, the start of it that he wanted a comfortable. I wanted that pain. He wanted yeah. a bride. I was making my own name again. Relate. Really. And um, <laughs> I think that this is such a good song that just talks about like, well, I like wanted more out of this. Like, I didn't want to just like settle down and get married and do whatever. I wanted to go out and like do what I wanted to do. And yeah. just because like you want a different life than me doesn't mean that like. I want that, but you weren't necessarily mean to me either. Like, there's yeah. nothing bad about you or the relationship. This one kind of made I, me think, you're just not what I want. Like, this one kind of made me think maybe like a little Calvin Harris because of of like the I drama like it's, of it's her not, not mean doing enough the, to be about it's not Calvin mean Harris. Enough, but <laughs> like, yeah, well, I, I Calvin, Calvin Harris songs are mean Harris, as fuck. Calvin Harris is a DJ. Yeah, yeah, he sucks. <laughs> I feel like there's yeah. Calvin Harris know. sucks. I mean, he's he's got good songs, but like no, he's, he, I don't think he has good he's songs. High. Really? I like I, I like some. This is what you came for. Yeah, <laughs> when he collabs, bad. yeah, when he's got like Rihanna. Yeah, on the track. because right, right, Taylor right. Swift wrote that yeah, song. Yeah, she did write that song. Really? <laughs> this yeah. is what you came for. Yes. Yeah, she really did. <laughs> yes, but I liked. There's um, a, that was the April. Got another one that's April twenty ninth. When she says April 29th what song is that? That's um. Why am I not out fucking which one just is. Jared? Mm-hmm. You know that that yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. They were like, he, we know a... where Taylor was on April 29th, and it was oh, pictures shush. from like 2016 of her going like paparazzi. I'm like, why did I fall for this? Right. I clicked <laughs> the link, and it was just paparazzi pictures of her on April 29th, one random year. <laughs> like, yeah, they don't know no, where she was. No, it was, they don't know where she, she went was, after. She was coming from a Gigi birthday, apparently. Yeah, and it was right before the Met Gala, but April 29th is the day that that song came out. What's on? Yes, this is what she came for. This is what she came for. Oh, really? When he he did not, he came out and he was like cheating on her, or she was cheating on him. And but she, she um, was cheating on him. Yeah, yes. that's what the, it's like. Wait, do you really want to know where it was? April twenty ninth. Damn, 29th? she <laughs> hated it. She hated him so much. That's how much it. We, well, I, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm like, I love to make that. a song about like, yeah, I fucking fucked yeah. around on you. Oh, <laughs> high high like, high, oh you really want to know where I was? High he must have not been great for her to acknowledge that. Yes, high infidelity is the one that everybody says about Calvin Harris, and it's it's fucking mean. Yeah, that's the one. It's very much like a like. So Do you really want to know where I was April 29th? Do I really have name? to tell you how he mm-hmm. brought me back to life? Oh! I know. Ooh. I know. Ooh, Ooh I, I love it. Chills. I just got chills. I love it. <laughs> you said I was freeloading. I didn't know you were keeping count. I bet the truth too far tonight. I was dancing around it. Like, it's just, ugh. Uh, that, ugh. to me, like, I'm, I don't, not to be so graphic, but, like, Taylor Swift got fucked so good on April 29th. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And she was like, and she was like I gotta get the fuck yeah. out of this. <laughs> like, she was like, oh, my God, I'm done with Calvin Harris. <laughs> yep. Not to be graphic, and then you, like, bit your lip all the way down here. Yeah. Fucked. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the song. Uh, the, <laughs> she also like Calvin Harris had when he was asked like if he would ever collaborate with Taylor Swift. He was like, oh, you know, we never have, but like whatever. And then yeah, she what was like, fuck liar. you, Dick Yeah, because he didn't. She didn't. Then she got, has, has there been any other song like that in history where uh, it's like this is a song about how much I enjoyed cheating on you? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I would like I, to hear nobody them. Nobody looks as deep into lyrics like they do with Taylor Swift songs. So I'm sure somebody out there, there see, like, put out a song. Is it, right. a, 
Maybe like Jesse's girl. Is that a cheating That's song? That's like a cheating song, kind of. I like wish he's that trying I had Jesse's girl. I've never, friend. I've never once thought what the lyrics of that song are about. He's trying <laughs> just, to cheat. Just dance to it. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish that, that I had Jesse's girl. Wait, but is he uh, with somebody else, or does he just want his he friend's girl? He wants his friend's <laughs> girlfriend, but he says like, uh, you know. I don't know. Something about that song makes me feel like he's trying to cheat with yeah. her. Like, you know, I feel so dirty when they start talking cute. Like, it's just like he's trying. I want to tell her that I love her, but the point is probably moot. Like, he just kind of goes. I never knew any of the deeper lyrics. <laughs> but she's, and the lyrics are, but she's watching him with the, with those eyes, and he's oh. loving her with that body. I just know it. Like, he's he's so pissed off mm -hmm. about the fact that his friend's, like, fucking this girl that he wants to fuck. And so he's always just But that's like, different right, than that, being like, I it fucked. It is. You're right. You're right. It wasn't you. You're yet. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. But that, for some reason, that came to my that came to my head um okay question is seven question might be my favorite question, question. is question is good question is, I, questions you can for bop the crazy girls question you can bop around yeah question, question i mean also like i was i was done the second it opened up with good girl sad boy i was like this is us yeah. <laughs> here we go good girl sad yeah. boy <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, ooh, ooh. I love it. Sad boy, a very common phrase is now strictly yeah. belongs to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys now. also mm -hmm. see that there's been a lot of like that people think there's companion songs, like each of these songs that she's written. It's like previously. one side of the of the argument. Yeah, not companion, but it's just like either sound wise. I would love that. But there's a lot of them that I felt like had similar very similar sounds to old songs i totally agree yeah. like uh, how they how they uh they all kind of flow the same way like they would flow seamlessly into yeah. into other ones and and that kind of goes back to what we was There's saying like one, all our so songs sound the same the, i feel like the they all one i keep I forgetting thought was which one red. the yeah. one that yeah i remember like she opens once one of these songs with just i remember i remember but mm. not that but it's not but it's like bore at some point she says i remember maybe it's at the end Hmm. I don't know. Maybe think, I remember, but yeah, it wasn't course. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay, so question. We like question. question I, I think love. question's great. I that like we said, there was some Carly Kloss conversations. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah. Too. Which, which, no, yeah, like no. I, I, this people, one's not about Carly Kloss. People push it. They this push one it. is not about Carly Kloss. This the. I swear that it was something because I don't remember who I was before you painted all my nights. A color yeah. I've searched for since, but then. One thing after another, fucking situations, circumstances, miscommunications. I, I love that. Where it's I like, think, this just blew up because we because we all fucked it up. Yeah, and I think we um, don't trust each other. The people probably grasped to that politics line where it was totally. like, oh well, let's just the, jump uh, to that. Yeah, what was yeah. The politics one? It says uh, she it was said one, it was one drink, drink after, after another. another. Fucking politics and gender roles, and you're not sh and you're not sure, and I don't know. That was after the half moon eyes, bad surprise. Did you realize out of time she was on your mind with some dickhead guy that you saw that night. It's hard to say these lyrics out loud. It is hard. When I want to sing the song. It Does is, that make sense? Yeah, it is. You can sing it. On her mind yeah. with some dickhead <laughs> guy. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Um, it's so good, but yeah. This eight is, for is vigilante shit. Love it. Which <laughs> people freaked out over because once again, it is definitely like a major anthem, major bad girl vibe. Mm -hmm. It's also just like, I, 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 I very much like vigilante shit. It did, this one didn't grab me right away. This I don't one, uh, really. I needed like the lyrics for it. You don't like it. I needed the. Lyrics I like the to lyrics. Like, like I love the lyrics. I love the messaging mm -hmm. behind it. I love that she wrote it. It's just like music wise. I'm just kind of like, mm. Mm -hmm. like the, it's just not my. It's just not my. It reminded my, me my speed. It reminded like, me of like a. It was. It, it could fit seamlessly into the Reputation album. And yeah, I also totally. think that it reminds totally. me a little bit of like Nobody No Crime, where it's yeah. like we're conspiring against you know somebody. And um, you know, kissy faces with your ex-wife. Can I say people say this is about Scooter Braun? Oh, it's almost hundred thousand. Like, has directly, to be Scooter right? Braun. Has to be Scooter Braun. It just like it, she was blatantly being like, like yeah, yeah, I, I told don't you. get sad. Yeah, I she she hit him with the fucking um, picture me thick as thieves with Not your ex-wife. Marjorie ex -wife. Tyrell was it Marjorie Tyrell? Lady Tyra, whatever. Lady Tyra. When she's like, tell Olena? Cersei, I want her to Lady know Olena. Yeah, Lady yeah, Olena. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Lady it was Olena. like, who do you think gave her the envelope? Like, yeah, like, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, do you think Scooter Braun's like, fuck yes. you? Yes. Like, yes. screaming yes. somewhere? Yeah. Like, and, I, and I love that idea. Which also, yeah. I'll be honest, part of me now in the Taylor Scooter thing is starting to feel for Scooter a little bit. <laughs> because... <laughs> It is. She has beaten his face into a pulp. And also, well, he made and a like, fucking mistake. Like, <laughs> like the reps should break it up. It. Right. No. And, he, and also, he was being sued. So, like the white collar the crime white -collar thing. Crime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. It's like people are like, "Oh my god, I love Taylor. She's so crazy." Like, like <laughs> yeah. all right. At what point do we say yeah. like? 
okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. she's out for justice. She's a motherfucking she's, vigilante. She's right, telling right. us right now. She's like, I'm gonna fucking raise your kids, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, so wait, so wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Like, there's it's, a it's line. Almost... There's a line in this where it literally the I think it's a, the picture of me thickest sees with, with your ex-wife. And she looks so pretty driving in your bends, but the way she sings it, she she goes, uh, and she looks yeah. so pretty. And I was like, Taylor's gonna fuck his wife. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm Not gonna love that. Like your kids call me gonna, dad. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Like that is what's happening with Taylor. I just ooh, I love it. I love that part. I love that whole thing. I, I like this one a lot. It's a good mm. song, but I but I feel you where it's like it's not. I wish there was a little more, a little more kick yeah, ass I don't know to what it, it in is. some way. It's just like. It has that. The ladies have had enough. Like it's good. Yeah, but. it just has a good. I mean, I I I like it. Yeah. It's just like maybe just because it feels so reputation. Where I wish it was just on reputation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I feel I like it that. just kind of pops there. out on this album. Where I'm like, wait a second. Like, yeah. That's whoa. Fair. Where I where does this one fit into the so, mix? Which well, I guess she is, stayed is up the whole late. point of Midnight's mm -hmm. putting really together a yellow envelope to <laughs> yeah. deliver to yeah, yeah, Scooter's yeah. wife. It is the whole point. Of but she also uh, references envelopes. Scooter Braun doing cocaine. Yeah. But I also yeah. which like not uh, shocking. Yeah. Oh, a Hollywood executive. Scooter Braun not even does cocaine. We've never heard Taylor talk about cocaine before. So that's crazy. I think that with a song like this, I act, I personally, this is one of my favorites, but I think that sometimes Taylor, like, she can go even more. And so, like, mm -hmm. what, sometimes when she's like, I'm doing, like, she's like, I'm the bad girl shtick, it's like, not, well, I said shtick, it's not, though, because she actually, I guess, does these things. Because yeah. yeah. um, she actually ruins she's, lives. It, yeah, she's an actual it, bad bitch. It, yeah. it comes, right, but it comes across like, I'm trying to be a bad bitch when she is a bad bitch. So yeah, I feel like yeah, she yeah. can go even harder, mm -hmm. but she almost stops herself a little bit. And when I think that she could really go even meaner if she wanted to, and people would still be like, Definitely. "Fuck yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely." On, I mean, this isn't like I, I don't know what the envelope contained, obviously. But on Mad Woman, she just outright says he's cheating. Yeah. So oh, like, yeah. It's why, yeah, why no. did she need the envelope? Probably an envelope, like a good probably an envelope full like of that? photos from a private investigator. That's what I had in my head. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's what that what I thought. No, but also no? like good on her. You know what uh, I mean? Like <laughs> fighting the good fight, but like, also, like, hey girl, here's you know, the Taylor, you did sign a contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever, <laughs> we're on Taylor's side. But yes. you know, <laughs> but it, it, there's a little part of me that's like, dude, you're gonna like. What if let's 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 live in a fancy world? <laughs> okay, okay. What if Scooter Braun kills himself? Well, uh, John. <laughs> what like what? Let's, John. Let, Taylor's Scooter writing Braun's music about ending he's his so, life. He's such no, a narcissist. He's, yeah, he would no, never kill he himself. never will. I said let's live in a fantasy world. And and he's got, he's got Justin Bieber and Ariana himself. Grande like and, 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 and the checks. note says it's because of vigilante shit. <laughs> 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 then I would then I would play vigilante shit every day the rest of my life. I'd be like okay, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh song. See now, so you're you're feeling bad for the. This Once you start bringing in like the kids and stuff, I don't know if she actually says kids. I think she says kids. Um, at some he point. clearly yeah, she, is like she, doing she, cocaine and taking advantage no, of people, especially she wrote, women. She got I don't the house, she got the kids. kids. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah that's right. like I mean, that's really rubbing salt in a wound. Yeah, well, yeah, he's yeah. a piece of shit. <laughs> he got, he got must be worse than, than um, we even uh, know. again. I, I think Taylor. he is. I just think she's. We know you're pro Taylor. Look at your shirt. She's starting to dance on a knife's edge where you might go too hard on somebody. People like, all right, let him breathe a little bit. I think she's good. Did you have that same energy for Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, absolutely. I see it more for Jake Gyllenhaal than I do for Scooter <laughs> okay. Braun. I think Scooter Braun deserves every Yeah, no, I definitely had it for Jake Gyllenhaal too. Where it's yeah, like, all yeah, right, yeah. this was be like if I was Jake Gyllenhaal, I'd be like, Das, it was ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, forgot yeah, the yeah. scarf. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> she forgot the scarf. And do you mm. think she murdered somebody with her hands? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, the hidden people run. were mad that we got went down that path last really? time. So I wanted to bring it back oh, up. Oh whatever. So like, this is so ridiculous. We're getting out of hand. It's like, are we getting out of hand? I was like, that's like the biggest rumor ever about that. Yeah, it's like are are we getting out of hand? Do we put anything past Taylor at this point? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Uh, Bejeweled is in Be Be Bejeweled is next. This I think I like Bejeweled, Bejeweled is very. I like Bejeweled a lot. Mm -hmm. Is that um, the name of a movie? Mm. Bewitched. Yeah, yeah maybe you're thinking Bewitched. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bejeweled. Uh, this one like I think has Taylor my favorite me. lyric. Which which is? Familiarity breeds contempt. Or put me in the basement when I want the penthouse of your heart. Love it. When I hit, heard that one for the first time, I was like, You're "Yep, like, Ooh -hoo. yep, I love yep. that one. Yep. That's that's a that's a great I love fucking it lyric. It's a really good lyric, and I like the I like the sound of the song. It's very um, dance around with your friends, feel confident. Yeah. Like you best believe I'm still bejeweled, bitch. Mm -hmm. Like I like it doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't matter what you do to I'll me. Still how shimmer. you want to put yeah, how you want to put yeah. me in the basement when I should be in the penthouse. I'll yep. still I'll still shimmer. Yep. 
Yeah, that I mean that I think make, that's the lyric the of the album. Shimmer. I love Don't that lyric. Don't put me in the basement when I want to yeah. be in the house. I like the I like when she gets to the sad part at the end. contempt is also just yeah. such it's a great. good line. <laughs> it's great. The sapphire tears on my face, sadness became my whole sky. Yeah. Love it, love it. Um, Labyrinth is ten. Labyrinth, I think, has gotten mixed reviews. I love Labyrinth. I love Labyrinth Labyr- too. La- Labyrinth, Labyrinth is top three for me. See, for sure. Labyrinth. This is why, like, for me, there's so many songs where. Like a song like Sweet Nothing, where it does feel like it kind of stays s- s- the same yeah, throughout yeah, yeah. the song. It's mm-hmm. like for this, it it makes sense. For yes. like a for like a midnight rain, like give me a big moment, you know, like that's that's yeah. just my own personal taste. Mm-hmm. For Labyrinth, I was like, yes, there's I liked that it it was going up, 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 up. <laughs> like yeah, no, completely, completely. I felt like and she just repeats the same lines, which I love. Like I feel like it really just emphasizes right. the fallen in love. It's like it's that it gives you that feeling of anxiety that she's describing. Yeah, I feel like it's the I'm trying to think of the the lines I like. The it only hurts this much right now. What was what I was thinking the whole time? I'm trying to think. These are hard to. Uh, oh, oh, this one I like. I love you know how much Taylor's I hate that everybody just expects me to too. bounce back, bounce back just like that. Yeah. I like that a lot because it's like. You know, I was in this relationship. I got, I went through a breakup. I'm having a hard time, and everybody's like, "Who are you dating now? Like, what's going on now? Blah blah blah, mm-hmm. whatever." But it's like I'm afraid to fall in love again. Oh no, I'm falling in love. Like, I'm dating I someone the named Taylor, down. and I like her a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I just, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it's it. It's a great one. It's a um, great song. It's got karma. That vibe. Karma is eleven. Karma is Karma's also good. one that's like the rumors of that she was supposed to release an album called Karma and then mm-hmm. that never happened. This one is once again about Scooter Braun. This to me is sort of yeah. This to me I think is all of them rolled into one. Yeah. I think this really? is Scooter, I think this is Kanye. I, the... I think this is like guess what all of you guys are going to get your moment. Yeah, like, don't I feel like this worry one was about pretty it. clearly Scooter this, again this, too. There mm-hmm. is Weird. there's more Scooter-esque lines, but I feel like the messaging still goes yeah. back to everybody that's it's, ever it's so it's so generally it's just like, like a, generally like just a, like I'm karma comfortable with karma is and you're coming not. back to you but yes yeah the line where he's where she says spider boy king of spider thieves boy, yeah. weave your little webs of opacity um spider boy is such a mean thing spider boy is such a mean thing I th- spider boy. my pennies yeah. made yeah, yeah. my pennies made your crown is what it was yeah, also like yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, oh right. all my hard work yeah. blood sweat and tears Exactly. Going into my music is making yep. is made your crown. Trick me once, trick me twice. Don't you know that cash ain't the only prize? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. What's gonna cost is your fucking marriage. Love yeah, that. Like, it's gonna cost like, me your life. Like, I'm gonna take a pound of flesh every single album for the rest yeah. of my yeah. life. And, and only, just so you know, I'm like 34, so it's gonna be a long here. time. Yeah. It'll cost just your voice. That's, yes. that's how old is she? 33. Uh, she's about to be 33. Three. And December. she, um, the karma. I also saw one that was like another good conspiracy TikTok that I liked. It was like, Karma is my boyfriend. Yeah. Boyfriend, Justin Bieber song. Love Karma it. Karma is a god. Mm-hmm. God is a woman. Mm-hmm. Ariana Grande. Love it. All some of Scooter's clientele. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was Incredible. Like, I was like, she this, is could, be a, this could be a Incredible. stretch, but I love this one. I'm <laughs> no, just gonna like, that I'm, I'm gonna dive right into that, that one. Um, I'll stretch like a cat. I yeah. like the... And then she says, Karma is a, <laughs> is a cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she says, yeah, she goes, yeah, per- Karma is a cat, cat. purring in my lap because it loves me. <laughs> my favorite of the I'm whole thing is the... That, Maria. Thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> I was thrown off by the cats in here too because yeah. you wrote in your, when you put out your ratings, oh, you, were like, about you, cats. you were like, I don't know if it was the cat thing, but yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Karma is a cat purring yeah. in my lap like it loves me. Because it loves me. It's like something like a goddamn acrobat is the next word. The best thing in the whole song though, I think is the... Uh, karma's a relaxing thought. Aren't you envious that for you it's not? Yeah. yeah. That's just yeah. like, oh. yeah. like, I'm so, like, I got nothing like, to worry about fine. you. Like, you, <laughs> um, Ooh. sweet. Can up. she really have nothing to worry no, about? No, like, you no. get this famous, that's this like, no. you no. have to be like, God damn, there's no. a lot of shit out no. there. I don't, not that's, that, well, here's the thing. I think that, it's very clear that she's not so innocent. She's actually yeah. making it quite clear in her lyrics now. Yeah. Because I used to be like, oh, Taylor Swift always plays the victim until then you listen to her, her lyrics and she's like, no, actually she's saying like she does things wrong, but she just doesn't care. Yeah, yeah right. she's straight <laughs> up. So, yeah, yeah. People just I don't, don't know if she's really yeah. playing the victim, but mm-hmm. I, think, yeah. I think we just don't know a lot. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, Sweet Nothing is 12. This is the song's so adorable. Sweet. This Maybe is the my one favorite. with so that she co wrote with It's a really nice yeah. song. It's a really it's, nice song. I love the songs that they co they co write Me together. Yeah. I think Every they're time. just absolutely this, adorable. Uh, even just like the, the way mm. it starts, the dee dee, well, the I spy with my yeah. tired yeah. Little, yeah. or yeah. little tired eye, whatever. My is, my little tired eye. And then I think there's something she references, like one of the rocks when they were together. Yeah, and Wind's Yeah, yeah, the pebble. Pebble. Yes, it was. It was exactly that. Yeah. Yeah, I spy I, with my little tired. Yeah. I'm gonna is is put this the one? Pebble. This is sneaky. My favorite song. Some I say this is a really lie. good one, and I do like. I like in the she says on the way home. I wrote a poem. You say what a mind. This happens all the time. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's so. Yeah. Cute. He's so supportive yeah. of her. <laughs> it literally is when they were that that. Uh, if you <laughs> click on like the pebble part where it's or Winslow, it says Winslow yeah. or something. It says like that's where they shot conversations with. Oh friends. really? So that literally is like oh, man, what that, that is. Shit. And um, oh, that line, but I also think it's so sweet that uh, things stretch over here. The like all you all you ever wanted from me was sweet nothing. Like she again, she was like afraid of uh, like not sure how much to give, not sure how much to. I saw people saying how that vulnerable this was to be his response and, to peace. Oh, that's sweet. Isn't that sweet? Really? I love that. Oh no, Fran. That is. I love Isn't that, that so nice? I mean, once again, Bro, these are coming from Taylor fans song, on TikTok. No, but I love them too. Doesn't I love matter. them too. They're smarter than this I am. This is the song that reminds me of. It's nice to have a friend. Yes. yes. I think. I think very much yes. like it's this song just reminds me it's of that same like, vibe where it's like mm -hmm. we're sweet and it's like oh you love me you mm -hmm. love me for me. This yeah. is his response to peace. Wouldn't that be peace was my favorite song. Now yeah. this that makes a lot of sense. Why well, this one's my favorite song? Because yeah. it's a great song. Yeah. It's such a nice message. It really it's is. So it sweet is. To her. It is. He is so sweet to her. Like they're just they're so sweet. Like where uh, has uh, Joe Allen dude. been? Like you know, I just need a card. I'm, 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 no, I, I, I want to see her happy, but she's not with all me. The bad I know she did. Yeah. I know she yeah. did. But it's like you know. We don't have all that music. Um, the last song is Mastermind. It's 13. Love I it. think this one is my favorite. It was my favorite after first listen. I still think it is. Mm. I'm more like, and maybe it's just like my, we laugh because I just like, I like more, I like dance music. Like I like yeah, that yeah. sound. And it has like a little bit more of a beat, which I'm like, yeah, yeah like when I can kind of like bop my head to it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. I like this a lot, um, which, and I like, ma I like that the idea of her, I like her ending, which is like the idea of, Everyone thinks that that's like her, the biggest thing people say about her, right? Is like, oh, yeah. she's just this crazy mind mastermind. She puts all these things together. She's mm. always got crazy things going and yeah. her Easter eggs. And like, you just, this song, the, you know, this album came out on like the day I saw on her, like the 12,000th day of her life. It was like 12,000 clock, midnights. What? Yeah. See, I, I actually think also this Kim song, Kardashian's though, birthday. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like it's even more so. Wow, like, not even crazy. just about like the Easter eggs and stuff she does. It's just like she's like, I let you guys think I was an innocent little girl. I let you mm. guys think this. Yeah. Like none of none of my career has been an accident. Yeah, no. And I think that's like such a big flex to be like, once you are at the top, you're like, yeah. Everything you thought was like you were tearing me down. I was letting you do right. that. Yeah. That's, why I was, loved, that's why I was getting here. People loved the narrative of her like bewitching all these guys into dating yeah, yeah. her and like brainwashing them. Obviously. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I just watched uh, I just watched Practical Magic the other day. Uh, Nicole Kidman, Sandra Bullock, old witch movie. Mm -hmm. You guys know that movie? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. No. You got to watch. Um, but Nicole, so Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock, they grow up, they're witches. Sandra Bullock doesn't want to be a witch. She like pushes it down, whatever. Nicole Kidman loves it. But Nicole Kidman's like whole thing is that she's like great with men. She like bewitches men kind of and they all love her all the time and it just gives me Taylor Swift vibes. The uh, I also think this is a very relatable song for all. I, I feel like all women are Kaiser Soze, where like everything mm. is mm -hmm. like you just you just let men exist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are in control. We're all, sure, you guys, are, you're strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you're all in control. You're all doing whatever because we're just we're taking a nap over here. Like, if, we, if we really want to rise up, we're gonna rise up. Yeah, so. it, it, yeah. It's like uh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what's the thing? Like if, if every spider on the in the world decided to eat people, they could eat us all in like a week. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like something insane. That's crazy. Maybe it's a year, but it's like it's like if every, I have never heard if that, every spider decides afraid. like it's time to eat people, we're dead really, really fast. I'm very, <laughs> like, very afraid terrible. about that. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Then we have the three a.m. Oh. tracks. But really quick on Mastermind. The, yes. So I've been ske uh, no one wanted to play with me as a little kid, so I've been scheming like a criminal ever since to make them love me and make it seem effortless. I love that. Love that. <laughs> okay. The um. <sighs> I, I also uh, so now that we're done with the the, the the regular album, I was very scared 
it was going to be too much Jack Antonoff, and I officially yeah. think it was not. Yeah, you did say. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was. Okay. I think I think Jack Antonoff learned how to turn Jack Antonoff down a little bit. I think he did too. And, I think he did too. And, and well, yeah, somebody it said who well, said. Well, then I think uh, you also sounded like Lord. Was that you? Uh, yeah, somebody said yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. something that sounds like Lord." And I was like, "Well, Jack Antonoff." Yeah, yeah. Is, oh no, they it was do Gillis. sound similar. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. A lot of the 3 a.m. ones are Aaron, are Aaron Dester, who I, who I so love. So that's like right. I feel like you when you put when you listen now to all 20, like start to finish, it's like it's a good mix. The Great War is definitely one that felt very um, folklore evermore. Hundred like, percent for it's me. It's also yes. was eh, like I'm like I don't really okay. Like this one either, it's yeah. like I liked it. It's I, gonna I think grow it's, on me. Like yeah. it's too many. It's I assume too many it's war about references. A, fight, a big fight for her. It's in about. General. It's definitely about yeah. love. It's definitely about like um yeah like a fight or whatever like that. But it's she just, just got to be a metaphor for a big fight. Yeah, nonstop. That's true. I don't. I don't do anything small. No, when I fight, it's world war. Literally, it's the like hitting over the top of the head with the war references. Like it reminded me of uh I said this folklore seven how she uh, talks about her it's like the song about like her grandpa going to war and it's yeah, like all yeah, about yeah. war and i feel like no that's not whenever... seven that's fucking was that seven seven is that song yeah what's I the other one folklore. where like she is also compares folklore? soldiers to uh frontline workers mm, i don't know seven's seven is the one about like get your helmet like it's a that's little... seven i don't yeah. think that's seven yeah it is I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defer to you because you are uh, a maniac. It's but, a, um, yeah. <laughs> no, she's. I think. Yeah, I think it is seven. It's seven. It's a. It's like about from like the perspective of her grandfather, and then, um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh no. Or wait a minute. <gasps> Have I been no. fucking saying this this whole time? What is the song then? No. Do you know? What is I'm it on about? Evermore? I think it's on Evermore. Damn, I wrote that on my blog. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. Oh, it's folklore. Epiphany. Epiphany. Oh, that is the song I'm thinking of. Fuck. Yes, Epiphany. The yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, that's the yeah. One. This song, that song, that song. Got one, baby. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's, wow. That's, wow. That's, I, am, <laughs> I am embarrassed. Like I'm. I've been saying seven for. I thought this song was seven. Yeah. Like in my head. Damn. Well, Epiphany is what I'm epiphany, talking about with yes. all the war references and yep. all whatever. I don't. I don't really. Uh, I don't I die for all that. I understand wasn't about one of my it. My favorite but... songs either, but I, I, I like this one. I, I thought this is. Yeah, uh... I, I appreciate the the dramatics behind yeah. it, but it's just <laughs> not mine. Um, bigger than the whole sky <sighs> is probably the most heart wrenching song. I would say. I think a lot of people, um, you know, you immediately assume like relationship that kind of vibe, but a mm. lot of people have interpreting it for themselves or for others as potentially about a miscarriage or losing mm -hmm. um, a pregnancy. So. I've seen a lot of people talking about that too, and whether yeah. that's Taylor talking about herself or maybe Taylor writing it for somebody else, yeah. Yeah. which we've seen her do mm -hmm. plenty of times before. This, mm -hmm. When we walked in today, that was the first uh, time I heard the miscarriage comparison. Yeah, that's that's deep. If not it comparison, is. but when you, you when you listen it. back to it, my my one of my besties told me that like had sh that she had read it. I hadn't heard it. She yeah. told me that last night, and I was like, "Holy oh, fuck!" And when you listen back to it through that lens, it's like you when you got wrenching during that le like once you have that frame of mind, it's yes. like it just feels like. That has to be it. I don't know. Totally. Like, now the I line can't go back. Saying, I can't imagine. It's did some else. force take you because I didn't pray? Yeah, yeah. Like it's oh, like, I also looked at. Well, I, wrote I don't, this in I don't my blog. like that. Yeah, line. yeah. I, I, wrote, <laughs> I looked this up because I look at what's the top line set. Read that. Did some birds flap its wings over in Asia? I looked up uh, storks are native to Asia. Uh, Asia, but that's also kind of just like butterfly effect. Butterfly too, right? effect. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what like a, a, a butterfly flapping yes. its wings in somewhere yeah. creates a hurricane or something like that? Yeah, true. You were more than just a short time. The um, I also people I just were like also freaking out because she said what could have been, would have been, should have been, which yeah. you know then she has nice. would have yeah. Oh yeah, right. What have could should have. Yeah. The um, this not not uh, to move on from the lyrics, but the sound I thought very much reminded me of Wildest Dreams. Yeah, that's fair. It, it was yeah, kind of like sure. like For uh, sure. I love Dreams. that. Yes, I I already used the song. word anthemic earlier, but I like I find that to be like a little like I can see that playing totally. like in a movie yeah. theater see or something me like in that. In hindsight, because yeah. I felt in, like, a lot of so, probably, I felt right? a lot of Wildest Dreams vibes from yeah. a lot yeah. of these songs, honestly. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome because Wildest Dreams. This song sick. feels most uh, in in a while. I think just compared to like Evermore and folklore, they were like storytelling, and I feel like I feel like those. We're supposed to be like fantasy kind of albums, but I feel like this album is more like that. It's more like, like it's more inside her like love mind and a little bit of delusion than mm -hmm. anything else. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 No, it definitely does. Paris. 
Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> that was deep. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Paris, another one, not my fave. I like oh, I like Paris. Paris I, like, I thought Paris, Paris is one of the more is like cutesy. boppy. Yeah, yeah, pop songs, I agree. Which it's I get cute down with. Yeah. and fun, and lyrically it's okay. I liked the um. There's a line in Paris that I really like. It was. I feel like it was just more fun, like a little That's lighter. Funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, which which is welcome. Yes, yeah. lighter, lighter. <laughs> Following an abortion, not abortion, this, miscarriage song. Yeah, the, potentially. Uh, the I want to brainwash you into loving me forever. I want to transport you to somewhere the culture's clever, confessing my truth in swooping, sloping, cursive letters. I like that. Where it's like, I want you to be obsessed with me, and I want you to hear that I'm obsessed with you. Like, that's, <laughs> I love that. Just like a... Like you, you know, you see a dog; it's so fluffy. You squeeze it so hard. Like, yeah, cute that aggression. Kinda. I know. I feel yeah, like there's been a cute, cute aggression. aggression. Is that like the term? Like, yeah, that's how I feel. That is. What is a cute aggression? Cute aggression. Like you're just, oh, I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. like, you're like, so you're, like, you're, like, you're, like you're like, yeah, like, like yeah. 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 Lenny from Mice and Men in it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Honestly, yes. That's what I was saying, but I, I, I didn't mean to say dog, and I said dog, and I didn't want to say that after. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Lenny I was thinking about Lenny just yesterday for some reason. Really? Yeah. Were you feeling like Lenny? Uh, no. It was a hometown thing. <laughs> was it? Of course it was. No, no, I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, high Infidelity, which, you know, we had mentioned the- Great smash. one. Great the one. Smash. April 29th mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Fuck Calvin Harris. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it's yeah. fuck. <laughs> you look like the uh, the Bugs Bunny meme where you say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck. No. I wish I didn't make that face. I just made a really gross face. It sounds like it. <laughs> so yeah, it, from here. Yeah. What? Like it's Calvin Harris? No, it just yeah, it just sounds like she had a great night on April 29th. <laughs> oh yeah. no, without question, right? Like she she cheated, she had fun, she's doing whatever she's doing and uh, you know, he's nowhere to be found. He's too busy I, at the beginning of the song where she's like I didn't know you were keeping score or keeping tabs yeah. or whatever. Um he strikes me as that kind of person to just like yeah. you know, remember everything and, and it's it's always like a a competition of who Who's giving more and who's taking more? And, I don't and, and think, I'm, I'm keep I'm yeah. t taking notes. You know, I hate and I, that. I don't think Taylor would have cheated if he was a good boyfriend. No way. No, no but way. I mean, isn't I mean, can you say that about any cheating? That's true. You could, <laughs> but I feel like it's yeah. Taylor Swift, so we like need to. <laughs> it is. It is yeah. wild. Like it, it is probably one of the. It, it seems to be. It's well received and accepted and excused the cheating. It is pretty rare that a cheating can just be like allowed. Yeah. When the other person didn't do something <laughs> yeah. incredibly destructive. Right. But yeah, it's like, true. he wasn't the best boyfriend, so, uh, no, you know, so it's fine. Right, right. Yeah. Maybe there's something we don't know. Right. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah. I, well, I, she writes about I'm going to venture to guess there is something we don't know. That's why that I'm giving Taylor the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Here, yeah no, yeah, me yeah. too. No doubt. You know, it's wrong, but maybe Calvin did something really bad to her. She writes, <laughs> yeah. she writes about like infidelity a lot. I feel like she like illicit affairs. That whole song's about like, yeah. a, like, yeah. a marriage affair. And it's like, you know, they're all, they're stories and whatever. But I wonder, you know, really where do they come from and yeah, I think that she's somewhere. comfortable talking about those things which I appreciate I appreciate that because yeah. it's like I don't know it kind of flips the other side of the coin I feel like people always talk about men cheating on women whatever like girls cheat too and it's not like we're not saying like it's excusable but it's also like at least we've got to probably have a better reason <laughs> 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 and, she, and she says um, put on your records mm -hmm. she uses the line put on your records and she also says put on your headphones yeah yeah I just feel like very be much. a little DJ. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh. You know, totally. Yeah, I didn't think. I didn't yeah, catch that. Right. Um, I got the DJ community so upset with me. Still, they they're um, still when I said when DJs you said were you lame. Just don't date a DJ. Yeah, I was like, I, I was talking about M. Radikowski, and I was like, she's seeing a DJ, which is like a joke. Like, you don't date a fucking DJ. <laughs> like, I would never trust a DJ. You no, can hook up with a DJ, well, but watch you're out, not watch gonna out, date a DJ. They're gonna I don't fucking think come for you. Hook up with DJs. DJs are fucking. I'll get your back on. Thank you for all of this. People are people are coming for me specifically. Dante. DJs. Oh. I forgot oh. about Dante. I also, when I was thinking Whatever. about it, I forgot about him too. <laughs> Dante doesn't even DJ anymore. That's what I'm saying. I forgot about him too when I was saying Dante it. Dante moved on from DJing. In my head, knew. I was thinking about like my like my douchebag <laughs> friends growing up who were like DJing at the fucking Pike House. Like shout out to them. You know, it's like this is you know you weren't they, they weren't Calvin Harris and they thought that they were right. right? They, and then you're like, oh, I yeah. hooked up with a DJ and it's like, okay, cool. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I also think like the DJ community getting mad at you is yeah. just like all the proof you need. Which like, oh, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. talking about you guys. No. No one, yeah, yeah, no one yeah. cares about the wedding person. Like, no. there, are, there are like six DJs in the world. No, I'm talking about the people who who literally like they think that they are Avicii. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. yo, I'm, I'm I'm just one gig away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you're not. You're not. You're you're <laughs> you're clicking off iTunes. Um, glitch, glitch is another very sweet glitch. song. This feels very another yeah. one of just like 
I maybe at the time that you did meet Joe, it like wasn't really supposed to happen or it was just like a, oh, meeting a friend. Yep. And there was just like a glitch and here they are. Yep, there's a glitch in the matrix here. She wrote, it's been 2,190 days of our love, which is, um, I didn't do the math, but it's apparently around six years. Yeah, that really? makes, that makes and, sense. Which is how long six they've been together. Want me to, want me to I, I didn't know they'd been together for six, six years. Five? Or maybe like yeah. I did, yeah. but I just didn't really consciously process it. Yeah, 2,190. Yeah, it's, that's, that's six years. Um, 2,190 days. Wow, fuck. <laughs> love that. <laughs> love it. Yep. Love that was, that's a sweet one. It's it's. I feel like sometimes she just adds a little. Yeah. Then we get hit hard with what have, could have, should have. Which yeah. I think is arguably one of her best songs like ever. It's a really yeah, it's good song. Really good. It's, it's a really good song. Really I need more good. listens it. With wouldn't it. have fit on Midnight's. Like, it had to be on the 3 a.m. version. Agreed, agreed. But agreed. it is a smash of a song. It's a, yeah. it's a really good song. This is an Aaron Dessner. Yep, Aaron Dessner, of course. Dude, I miss. need some more. Yeah. I need some more time with it. Everyone says this is the John Mayer song. This is Has the the long awaited John Mayer song, only because she references uh, the 19. fact that she was nineteen. Yeah. So yeah. that puts us put, gives us a timestamp. And yeah. the way she talks about it, what does she say? Like the the I regret you all the time. Yeah. Like there's a lot of uh, lines. I would have like sat on my knees and I damn sure never would have danced with the devil at nineteen. 19. And the God's honest truth is that the pain she was should. heaven. Pain was heaven. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that though. I like because I and maybe that line is what makes me think that, you know, if I'm comparing uh, John Mayer and Jake Gyllenhaal with All Too Well and Dear John, then yeah. I always in my head I think because I love Dear John the song so much, yeah. where I'm like, oh, it's so fucking good, yeah. and I'm like, oh, whatever. But I've never the way she sings about John Mayer is still sad, but it doesn't seem so like like cutthroat angry it seems more like disappointed and so i, I feel like i'm more never retrospective more of like yeah. about life and being I'm like never it's like, like looking back so and being like damn you know i was 19 and yeah. now that i'm how in my 30s he? he was like he 30. was 32 which is how old she is right now it's that's like this old. Like, it's that's, old but also like for a 19 it, it, year it is old. demi lovato like, wrote the song 29 which she wrote about like finally, she was seventeen. She dated Wilmer Valderrama, mm -hmm. and now she when she turned twenty nine, she wrote the song and was like, "Now that I'm twenty nine, this is like now this I really gross. realize how yeah. fucking weird this yeah, was." Yeah, seventeen yeah. is different than nineteen. I, yeah. I, I, I have absolutely no interest in ever dating a younger woman. No, at, at no. all. But I also think like I, I almost like giving women credit. Like, well, you're nineteen. You can make your own decisions. Like, I, I feel like people. Excuse me. I feel like people like defend younger girls dating older guys when it's like well i don't know you're 20 years old you're an adult you can yeah like it, it, i don't, I don't yeah. think you need me fighting your battles right you but also yeah. your brain changes so dramatically from from yeah, your right. being i was uh, 19 20 to I like never because i think about but how when i started like, working here when i was 19 and now i'm 25 and i'm like oh like my no brain doubt. has tra changed so dramatically yeah. Yeah. that I'm like some of the cho you know what I mean yeah. like I just look sure. back yeah, and, if, and if you were dating a 32 year old at that time it right. would have been and like then at it would have been it would be strange. absolutely weird yeah. and something again I have absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. no interest yeah. in <laughs> but yeah. but also like I mean if you can sign up to go to war I think you can choose who you sleep <laughs> okay, with okay, okay. <laughs> so, all right, the great all right. war okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> you can sign up for war but you can't have a drink you can't have a beer I said this all right dad when we Talking about Billie Eilish recently, I said it's more of a reflection on the guy. Thinking like, no doubt, it's yes. strange. Yes, for that's them. how I feel about like, it. Like you're so immature that you need to date someone that's 19. Like you right. can't yeah. date, date somebody... someone that's like more on your. It was like, like with the Dane Cook stuff. I was like, dude, you're 50. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you dating 18 year olds? I view it as very much as like when married. older guys date younger girls. It's because they don't want the wisdom that comes with older women. Like they don't want they don't want to be called out on their bullshit. They don't yeah, want to yeah. grow up. They don't yeah. want to do those things. They want to just live in this like youthful bubble that I they're agree. they're they're afraid onto. of aging themselves right they're right. so right, they exactly. date younger because so they, they date, don't want to be younger. older but um but for some reason this song like i like i don't i'm not coming after john mayer after the song like i'm kind of like oh yeah well that was a kind of a weird situation and maybe because i like him like i don't yeah. know what it is but one of the lines i liked was the if you tasted poison you could have spit me out at the first chance and so i feel like a lot of the a lot of her argument with john mayer is very much like a I knew what I was doing and I did it, but like you also knew what you were doing and it's kind of fucked up that you just like let it go on. Like mm -hmm. you, you saw me struggling with a certain situation. You knew I couldn't handle the situation, but you didn't, you did nothing to like alleviate that for me. Like you just kind of made it worse and went yeah. along with it and whatever. But at the same time, like, you know, John Mayer might be equally emotionally immature. Like yeah. he, I kind of feel that way about him. Sorry, Noah. I know that's your, <laughs> yeah. I know that's your boy. But you sometimes saying, I feel uh, that way about him. Like poison. he's a little bit, mm. 
You saying poison reminds me that there's a line. I, I, I think we underestimate how much Taylor Swift drinks. I think Taylor Swift. No, she drinks a lot. Drinks, She's dude. constantly drinking. She, <laughs> she, she does. Is, she, she oh she loves drinking wine. I feel like she didn't start drinking until late and then yeah, when she yeah. did, and now she, she just fucking like, she's a booze a I think I think Taylor <laughs> yeah. fucking drinks. Yeah. There in, in the Great War there's a line where like he does something, he did something after the fight. And hers, I think the line was, and I draw the shades and drink my poison. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I know that move, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Great line. Great line. Yep. Yep. Great um, line. The last one is Dear Reader, which is nice. To me, Dear Reader was just like a little bow on the say, end of the album. That was just like yep. a message to all of her fans like, hey, these are my songs. Mm -hmm. You can take them as they are, interpret them as you want, but don't, like, don't. Go crazy! Do, like, like don't 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 do, do as what I we say just or as exactly I say. Exactly what yeah. we're doing. Don't do <laughs> as I say or as I really do. Deep dive into yeah. every song. Which also yeah. for yeah. me yeah. is easy. It's like, oh yeah, no problem, girl. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Right, we're just we're just having fun. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. But if I weren't doing this, I would have never looked further into any of the songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I think she like likes to give advice. I guess feel like some of the verses were like some advice, and then the chorus is like, but also never take advice from someone who's fallen apart. Yeah. So which I I completely is there something more to that lyric? Well, so, I completely so I, disagree with were, that. We were talking about this, and this is how I how I thought like, about never it. Never take advice from fall apart. You're like, like, no, we don't uh, take advice yeah. from me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, my life fell that. apart. She talks Listen about to what having I her fourth drink in her hand in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. Yeah, yeah, she does. Love a fourth drink. The fourth oh, drink, that's how you know. Fourth drink's how you know. This one I said... I, I feel like it's the, the message I got was just that don't take advice from broken people because their view is jaded, kind of. Like, I feel like the... Like she's pessimistic and cynical about certain things. So like even in the, the first verse or the first um, intro when she talks about how like, you know, oh, don't do this or don't do that or watch out for this, whatever. But also like never, you know, never take advice from someone who's broken yeah, or whatever. It's I like, think it's just like, like if you were to come to me and be like, oh, what are your thoughts on dating? I'd be like, dating is the fucking worst. Like it's yeah, disgusting because yeah. that's been my experience. But that doesn't mean that like, that doesn't mean that that's the truth. Right. And, and I think I she like says in this second or verse, someone in a bad relationship, like, like marriage is fucking awful. I fucking hate marriage. It's yeah. like, well, that's what you think. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. Not what everybody thinks. Right. She says, dear reader, bend Projecting. when you can, snap when you have to. Dear reader, you don't have to answer just because they asked you. Dear reader, the greatest of luxuries is your secrets. Dear reader, when you aim at the devil, make sure you don't miss. So it felt like I Love felt like it. she was talking about her life experience mm -hmm. a lot, and then it was like also. You could not listen to me at all. Right. You know? yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 This uh, yeah. I, this song was a nice little like aperitif yes. on the whole album. Yes. Like, yes. Okay. yes. Nice little digestive. Exactly. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A digestivo. Right. And after dinner mint. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. I so agree. I felt like that just kind of ended it all nicely. Mm -hmm. And that is that's all twenty guys. Wow. We went through all of them. Proud of do us. we wanna give do we wanna give top five? Ugh. Top five. Five, I can do. Top five. Let's three I was gonna have a hard time with. Five, oh, okay. five I, can I can do three do. easily. Top five. I'm, I'm just gonna go to um, the album. Does it have to be in a specific order? I, yeah, yeah, yes. Because yeah. I feel like when you're when you say like, oh, okay. you're written out. Number okay. one, I'll go, you're on your own, kid. Oh, okay. One, okay. That's, okay. Interesting. That's a good one. Number two, yeah. I'll go Midnight Rain. Okay. Oh, good one. Three, I will go... Sweet nothing. Mm -hmm. We are we including the three AM tracks? Yes. 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 Okay. Four, I'll go vigilante shit. It's a good one. I don't like saying shit when it comes to Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't she really loves like, saying yeah. shit. I didn't really like so saying that right there. She says it so and much. And five, I'm gonna go. Hmm. <laughs> Come back to me on the fifth one. Oh no. Woulda coulda should have. Yeah. Oh, right. There you go. Uh, yeah. This is so hard. It's for me right so now. hard. I think, I think I go, mastermind, great one, one. Mm. maroon two, good one, labyrinth three, <sighs> would have, could have, should have four. I'm stuck between. I think I would go. I think I do really. I I do really like Antihero. I think I'll go Antihero five. Yeah. Honorable mentions are um, Jeweled and uh, and Karma. Okay, oh, she's doing honorable mentions. That means I can do honorable yes. mentions. Okay, good, good, good. Because I can't. I like can't cut it down. I think my number one right now in this moment is is Question. Okay. I just I fucking love that song and it's just really hitting right. And I know that it'll change and whatever. I just love it. Yep. Two, I'm gonna go Labyrinth. 
I really love that song. Um, three, I'm going to go Midnight Rain. Four, I'm going to go Mastermind. Fuck Five, I'm going to do Bigger Than the Whole Sky. And I'll do honorable mentions to Antihero because it, it's written about me. And also <laughs> uh, honorable mention to Glitch, which I also really like. Mm. That's my that's my thoughts Good. right okay. now. Okay. They've been changing literally every minute, but yeah, that's how I, I know. feel. Same, question, same. Uh, I'll say Question and Labyrinth have been really like top one and two, yeah. one and two interchangeable for me all weekend. Um, okay, one antihero, two Love question. It. Fuck, I'm already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's so um, hard. It's so hard. Three midnight rain. Four go. sweet nothing. Oh, good one. Oh, I see. Now Five would have could have should have. <gasps> we had a wow. similar list. Yeah. Wow. See, like I wish I had. I, I know. It's like I. Wa- it's there. just hard though. Like I. Li- I really I like sweet nothing, me too. but. Where does it fall on the list of like, it's I think so of hard. when I go to open my phone, I'm like, and I'm looking, I'm like, what song do I want to press play on? Same, same. And it always yeah, ends up being, it I always know. ends up being like, question. I'll, I'll start it off with question or, or yeah. you know, labyrinth, whatever. But then I kind of, uh, it's hard. It's really hard to choose these songs. Also I know. Too, because they're like, they are similar, but they're also very different in the, in their messaging and the way yeah. that they sound and whatever. And like a lot of the songs that are on Taylor's albums, I always feel will, I'll relate to them more. I'll like them more depending on the mood that I'm in. And right now, like those are just my moods. Like maybe next week I'll right. be in like a a super sad mood, and I'll be like you know really hanging on to one of the other ones. You know what I mean? Like it's just yeah. it's so oh, she's just so good at everything she does. Yeah, like, really, it is my, my she main really takeaway. Is feel. She won't miss. She'll she won't. never miss. She can't. It's just crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it is crazy, and I do think because she did like t- folklore and Evermore were so good, but they were different. That this is. This falls for me more in like the '89 reputation mm-hmm. sound. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's even a little "Speak Now" on there. A little. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like "Bejeweled" could be a "Speak Now" song. Yeah. It must be. It's probably interesting too, like I her going back her and re-recording all the stuff. I fucking, loves, I fucking love "Speak Now." That, yeah. Like, like she like gets oh, like almost inspiration from stuff you wouldn't. Most artists don't ever get inspiration from. Like, yeah. Because how often does an artist go back and re-record an old album? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, wait, yeah, I did like this sound. Or, or yeah, like, oh, right, I did like this, this, this message. That totally. Yeah. Yeah. Which That's makes a me really good that point. I didn't think about of, that. I didn't think about that. Which makes me think like the comparisons where people are like, oh, there's songs that sound like these songs. I feel like she could have started off with the sound when she was like recording Reputation mm. or whatever album it was and when she goes to like our red, she goes to re-record mm-hmm. a song. It's like, oh, where were we? Like, remember we had that other version of this that had like the similar beat, but then we changed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's a lot that of is beats. kind of yeah. right for sure. Right, they're just pulling it out and like, like she I has feel all like these there's a lot written. of similar it's very tracks. Much like the figuring out the sounds that go with it. Yeah, and like maybe changing the words because I mean, Taylor's Taylor's a poet. Like she's yeah. writing all the time. She's writing lyrics, and I in my head. Whatever she's written in her notebook is very much like these are poems, these are stories, these are whatever. And then Jack Antonoff gets in the room, they figure out a sound, and they like it's almost like a you know those refrigerator magnets with all the words yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. It's like yeah. that, but right. with music. And I feel like like first and foremost, she's the writer. You know, I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I also want to uh, appreciate her shout out to the only thing I liked about Snow on the Beach. I forgot to say it before is she gave a shout out to Janet Jackson. It's all for you, like yeah. Janet. And I appreciate. I love that song. Yeah. So. Uh, I didn't song. notice that. Yeah, and that song is kind of vibey, like this, like that song. If I like Taylor that, Swift I feel like we were a little hard album. on that song. I like that song. I yeah. wanted more from it. Yeah, it's actually like uh, like this is me trying was a similar one for me. I where agree, like I yeah. saw the headline, the, uh, the title, this is me trying, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is gonna fucking crush me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it didn't really. And yeah. I was kind of hoping for the same. It does song if you beach. if you're in the right mood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll get you. Mm-hmm. That is true. Um, okay, any final thoughts? I think that wraps it up for. I think that wraps it up. Oh, uh, this comes out today. Yeah. This yeah. podcast yeah. Um, tonight, she's on Jimmy Fallon, and at midnight we get another <laughs> video? video. Either what it's song do people be, think it's going to be? I don't know if it's going to be. A, people are convinced it's going to be a whole visual album like Lemonade, Beyonce. People are convinced that to me. Yeah. I mean, oh, I would I die. Stay up so late if again. I'm if I'm watching uh, <laughs> when, I, when we watched that teaser trailer or whatever. We obviously saw all the um, pieces that we now know are from the antihero music video, but there were so many other costumes and scenes and sequences yeah. that make me. I think, did like, see she's definitely how shot many a videos? lot. Yeah, like how many videos? How many? like scenes are in one video. So I wonder if it's like maybe a combination of songs or I can't imagine her doing a whole, like that's massive, yeah. but 
Wow, would that be something? So I'm I'm excited. Um, th- there's that, and then she's on the Graham Norton show in a couple days. I think, and I think oh, then finally the she's fucking put him back on that one. I love it, <laughs> and I uh, yeah, no, she does, she does. Whoa, Taylor, love, slow down. <laughs> I love when she goes on the Graham Norton show. She's so fun on that show. But so then mm. I think after that, then I think the the tour to Midnight's is is pretty much over. It's like a full week. Of, yeah. The of, um. We'll see how many other videos come out. I am interested also if people would like to keep track. I, I just haven't because it happened at midnight because it dropped at midnight mm-hmm. like midnights. Um, <laughs> I knew exactly how many steps I danced to this song. It was two thousand six hundred forty three, and Love I'm that. interested to see how many uh, steps other people dance to. <gasps> That's nice, John. <laughs> that is. That gets people uh, up that, and I moving. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a steps person. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I was, the next morning, I was like, I was like oh, shit, wait, so I learned so you. many steps already. And yeah. I was like, oh, so I was on the porch dancing to Taylor yep. all night. You know, what, you know what my problem is? is That's like, a lot of steps in two hours. I was, in two hours. Like that. I I was also just I laying in I was just like, this was me. Like, I was just laying in bed, and as soon as the album came out, I was just like, play, and I sat like this for like for an hour. Yep, yep, Got to do it. I do the immediate laptop lyrics. I'm like, all right, laptop lyrics and I read along like I open them all up at once and as the songs go by I just like read along with yeah. them it's weird <laughs> I do that I, I do that it. I just casually listen click number two. play and yeah, that's see right. where it goes <laughs> yes yeah. I'll listen straight no. forward without it and then second listen is when I'll go deeper yep. into yeah, into into lyrics. I had to but. wait a while for the right lyrics. Genius took kind of a while yeah. to put the lyrics out. They must yeah. have I know, had it I in advance. To get yeah. All right, next Monday, Drake and Twenty One Savage yeah. <laughs> are lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't wait. Well, same group. Same we'll group. Be back. Yeah. 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 Same group. We'll, be we'll back. digest all of their lyrics yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. All right, Kelly fights. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you guys very us. much. Now that it's fall, it does not mean it has to be the end of your summer chill. Coors Light helps you find moments to unwind. Whether you have a big work presentation that you can follow up with a happy hour, some friends, and a cold Coors Light, or weekend errands where you just want to take a moment to have a break, maybe throw on some college football, and have some me time. Whenever you need to hit reset, reach for a Coors Light. It is made to chill. Sundays are my chill day. Those are the days I open my fridge, I reach for my ice cold Coors Light, and have a little me time. It's mountain cold refreshment, made to chill, cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. Coors Light is the one we choose when we need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light in the new look delivered straight to your door with your Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. And always celebrate responsibly from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rhea and Fran. This is game 52. Two. Got confusing because of the whole rematch. Yes, but we are joined by the lovely Sydney and Rachel who are taking time out of their day, out of the medical field to play trivia with us. So thanks, guys. (laughs) Thanks for having us. I love that. They made that sound so serious. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they are important. Yeah, exactly. And that they're is, taking the time out yep. to play trivia. Yep. So very important. Um, okay, very straightforward. 15 rounds. If you get the question right, you get a point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. If you get a question wrong, the other team can steal the point. Um, and to determine who goes first, Noah's going to give us a movie. We're going to guess the Rotten Tomatoes score. Critic score, whoever is closest, will get to go first. We will alternate guesses. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is The Internship with Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. Yes. I have never seen that movie. Are we starting? Yes, one guess from you guys. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going to go 65%. This is the one where they're at Google, right? I've never seen it. I've definitely seen seen it. I'm going to go... Joe likes this movie a lot. 22%. I'm going to go 18. I'm going to go 47. 35%. All right, so question number one to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Addie from Massachusetts. What actor did the fraternity brothers in the movie Neighbors dress up as? Um, Wait, repeat that. What actor did the fraternity brothers in the movie oh, Neighbors? Oh, Robert De Niro. They all dress as different versions of Robert De Niro. I've never seen Neighbors. What? Mm-hmm. Really? I, I'm I think so surprised I, by I that. think I saw it like maybe it was on TV once, but I never like... Movie, I, Robert De Niro, final answer. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Dave Franco, he does, he does. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You talking to you me. You talking to me, yeah. All right, one nothing, <laughs> Rhea and Fran. Question number two to Rachel and Sydney. Shout out Kelly from Cleveland, Ohio. In the original Gossip Girl, what food did Rufus Humphrey always make? I want to say grilled cheese. I just don't know if that's right. I have not watched Gossip Girl in ages. I yeah, haven't either. I have nothing. I like grilled cheese. I mean, it would either be that or like a pasta, something eat. I don't know. I don't remember yeah. if he's a good cook. <laughs> I don't either. Sounds and like everyone it. can make a grilled cheese. Let's just stick with it. Fine by me. Grilled cheese, final answer. Mm -hmm. Dang. But Jenny, um, this is your favorite. Wh why do I want to say chili? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I like that answer though. Let's go with chili. Because then when the, she said grilled cheese, I was like, shit, it's definitely grilled cheese. <laughs> go chili. Chili? I, I don't have another guess, so okay. I like chili. All right, we're going chili. Final answer. Incorrect. <gasps> it's waffles. 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 But Jenny, I made your favorite waffles. Yeah. Why did chili sound <laughs> like chili just seemed like that something Rufus like a good would answer. make? Yeah. You also, chili. when you said chili, I, I thought, shit, she's right. Yeah. When you said chili, I was like, oh, she's I, got when she it. said, when they said grilled cheese, I like pictured him flipping grilled cheese. I was like, it's grilled cheese. <laughs> flipping waffles. So yeah, maybe. it's waff maybe waffle. Well, you don't flip waffle. waffle. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. 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 Yeah. Waffle maker. Gossip girl questions have not been our forte. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still one nothing, Rian Fran. Question number three to Rian Fran. Shout out Cassidy from Memphis. Where did Courtney Kardashian graduate from college? Arizona, Arizona State. Arizona State? Arizona State. Or Arizona. Arizona, Arizona State. State. Arizona State, final answer. Incorrect. I mean, I, I feel like we Arizona. have to go with Arizona. No, it, it's definitely somewhere in Arizona. And I don't know any college in Arizona except for Arizona State. So let's just go. Is there a University of Arizona? Yeah, I, I'm going to offend yeah. some people from Arizona right now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's go University of Arizona, or Arizona Agreed. University. Final answer. Correct. Mm. University of Arizona. Ooh. Thank you, you for that answer, that? Rhea and Fran. <laughs> it's, it is. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. University of Arizona. Whatever. All right. Tied up at one. This is question number four to uh, Rachel and Cindy. Shout out Janie from Pittsburgh. When Snape dramatically enters the room for class in The Prisoner of Azkaban, what page does he tell everyone to turn to several times? It's all you, Menders. 392. Hold on. Turn to page 392. That sounds right. I don't... I probably shouldn't second guess it. Hey, you go with your gut. I didn't know it ends, about Harry It Potter. definitely ends with a two, but that's not that helpful. 10 seconds. 392, final answer. Incorrect. 394. Turn to page 394. 394. Final answer. Correct. Yes. yes. Dang. Oh. Two pages off. Yeah. <laughs> so close. All right. 2 1. <sighs> Rian Fran. And this question is to Rian Fran. Shout out Devin from New York City. Is this our Devin? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this question yeah, was because she was talking about it the other day, and I tried. She said I sent in a question, and I said, "Was it from your TikTok for you page?" Because I was trying to like manifest my for you page, bringing yeah. you this question. Oh. I don't think it happened though. Yeah. Okay. Which of these artists was not nominated for Best New Artist at the 2007 Grammys? A. Taylor Swift. 2007. B. Paramore. C, Amy Winehouse, D, Adele. This was on my For You page. Adele and Amy Winehouse were in the same, This they were both nominated the same year. Was, okay, Wait, name it again? So it was Taylor, a, Swift, Taylor Swift, Paramore, Adele, Amy Winehouse. Because someone there was a TikTok where it was like, I can't believe Amy Winehouse and blah, blah, blah were nominated in the same year. So I think- So it's not- Best which one was not? Which one was not? One of the not? four was not nominated that year. So Taylor Swift, Adele, Amy Winehouse, and Paramore. I think Paramore. Or Taylor Swift. Wouldn't the TikTok have included Taylor Swift? Five seconds. If they were all in the same category. Should we take away Taylor Swift? All right, time. Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. 
final answer. Incorrect. Fuck! Right. We repeat the question. Yes. Which of these artists was not nominated for Best New Artist at the 2007 Grammys? A. Taylor Swift. B. Paramore. C. Amy Winehouse. D. Adele. Is it Paramore? I feel like it is, especially if they saw TikTok that had Amy Winehouse and Adele being nominated the same year. It only makes sense. And I feel uh, like 2007 was when Adele started, right? So like I, I was karaoke and Adele in 2008. 10 seconds. So. <laughs> All right, let's, go, let's Paramore. go Paramore. Final Paramore, answer. final answer. Also incorrect. Oh, the TikTok was wrong. No, no. Oh. no, you remember the TikTok incorrectly because the TikTok said, I can't believe Taylor Swift and Amy Winehouse were nominated uh, in the same year. Adele and Paramore was also nominated the year. Adele was nominated in 2009. Nine. Okay. That, yeah, 2007 was a little early for Adele. Fuck, I remembered the TikTok incorrectly, but it did come up on my page. <laughs> That's yeah. wild. Was it after we talked about no, it? No, no. I rem I just remember scrolling past, or maybe it was, I can't remember, but I definitely scrolled it past it. What a I red hair. Like I thought that was early for Taylor Swift. Yeah. I don't remember Taylor Swift that early. Teardrops on my guitar came no, out yeah, when I was that's, a freshman in college. That's yeah. about right. Yeah. All right. Still 2 1 Rian Fran. And this question is to Rachel and Sydney. Shout out Brooke from Columbia, South Carolina. Which of the following has not been named People's Sexiest Man Alive? A. Leonardo DiCaprio. B, Matt Damon, C, Ryan Reynolds, D, Ben Affleck. Okay. I feel like Ryan topic. Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds definitely has to have been, and so is Leo. I agree. I feel like just take those off. Those between Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I think, oh, I, my gut is telling me Matt Damon because- Has not been voted? Has not been, but now I'm like, regretting all Five of my seconds. decisions. I don't know. I, f I feel like we go with Ben Affleck. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Ben Affleck, final answer. Incorrect. I feel like the answer is Leo because he wouldn't accept being. He's just like I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be people's sexiest man. Yeah, like he's like, don't put me on your cover. Yeah, I'm too good for this shit. Mm -hmm. I don't do superhero movies and I don't do people's sexiest yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. I was on the same page. I that that is the thought I had as well. So Let's I feel like Leo. we should go with it. What else do we have to lose? We this don't. Point? We got nothing to We're lose. We're gonna go Leo. Correct. Nice. nice. Oh, okay. Dang. All right. Stop well, trusting me, for sure. Me. Yeah. Well, you would don't think, trust me. but you definitely would think, and he should be. But he also, you know, thinks he's above a lot of things. So I didn't know you could just deny it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Because you gotta like sign up to do the interview and all that just stuff. Question number seven, Hocus Pocus. Just oh. kidding, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're gonna get like a pen in your eye. <laughs> okay, go okay. ahead, Noah. Question number seven, shout out Jessica from Jersey. Members of what boy band were featured in the viral Call Me Maybe video with Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and Ashley Tisdale? Big time rush. <laughs> You are so passionate on that. We're gonna slap that with the final answer. Big time rush. Correct. Nice. Dang. I did not know that uh, one. I could see it all over you, Danny. Don't you ask me. <laughs> wow. I love Justin Bieber. I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hyped. I just got that one. Patty. Finally, I was useful at some point. <laughs> all right. Four one, Rian Fran. Question number eight oh, yeah. to Rachel and Sydney. Shout out Stephanie from Ontario, Canada. What is the next line in this Drake song? Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. The following line. Really not giving a lot there. Benders, you got anything? Um, I... I can hear it. I can too, and I just can't. I clearly don't work well under pressure anymore. <laughs> peaceful, it's a... I need I swear like one it's like more something line. about Shit. fifty dollars with me. Five seconds. That might be the. Wait, repeat the line real fast. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. 
All right, time is I up. swear, it's something I, I would keep $50 with me. I'm so disappointed in myself. Final but. answer. And it's correct. incorrect. <laughs> So I actually, this was the last song I listened to before I got out of my car today. I think it's nonstop. That's so weird. Um, what? It's real. That's really that weird. Really but I don't. Weird. I I think it's what from the song? song "Nonstop" by Drake. Oh, okay, I don't know what that. Is. Trying to. Wait, or it's from. It might not be that. Hold on. Ten seconds. No, no, it's not from. It's actually not. Ah. My brain is confused between two songs right now. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we don't know it, okay? Is it from, we is just it, don't know it. Is, is it up. from God's plan? Time is up. You need to finish the lyric anyway. I know, I know, but now I'm stuck <laughs> on the okay, song. You, it's, it's, it's over, but yes. yes, it is from God's plan. Yeah. And it's trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. Oh, one in the a dry yeah, lyric I actually, is so hard. I would have so hard. Nav- yeah, I feel so like hard. Got, yeah, if I, I had said... Been- it's from God's plan. What do you have known? Um, yeah, I, I was, I, I was going with there. a different song, and then at the end, I realized that it was from a different song, and then I got all confused. And it got confusing because I was rapping the other one. Yeah. <laughs> but right. actually, I don't. I wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah, that, I, I don't think I would have gotten that. Hey, Rhea, my favorite moment from trivia is when you started singing a different song that last game, and I was not. What song was I singing? <laughs> Oh, uh, the question was about something unrelated and friendly. Oh, like, and then she was like, "Shut up!" Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes, you started singing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "That's a wrong song." Right, right, right. <laughs> yep, yep. My uh, bad. Okay. Oh, my brain just got so confused. <laughs> Still four one re and Fran, and this question is to them. Shout out Malroy from New Jersey. Malroy. I think Mallory? we've done this. I think we've done this before. Oh wait, is it Mallory? I don't know. I'm just. But I just Malroy. No, I guess it's Mallory. How's it spelled? It's Mallory. It's Mallory. M-A-L-L-O-R-Y? M-A-L-L-O-R-Y, yeah. Mallory. That's Mallory. Mallory? <laughs> I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. Okay. So Continue sorry, Mallory. If you're listening, we are so sorry. <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> he went with Mallory. Mal- <laughs> Next question. Uh, okay. What? It's funny because a lot of the emails that people send in, they actually are now saying, here's how, like, they write yeah, it down for me. Yeah, they're here's giving how you, you the phonetics. Yeah. <laughs> pronunciation spelling it out but i still don't i just i don't i don't know okay shout out mallory to get their names right yep from new jersey well i just don't want to bring that phonetical way of like with it then there's too much text on the screen okay sure okay (laughs) what justin bieber song is about the false claims he fathered a fan's child I haven't listened. I actually have not listened to like a single Justin Bieber song in so long. Father to fans child. I didn't even know about this situation, but I know they know it, which is not, why I'm dying to get an answer out there. It's just, Ten I, don't, I don't even know. It's not me, a name of a song. I have, uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't Shaggy. me. By Justin Five Bieber. Seconds. By Shaggy. <laughs> uh, I got nothing. Okay. Let's go, Downey. This is you, baby. It's Maria. Final answer. <gasps> Correct. Let's go. Correct. Wow. Why is well just, done. Justin Bieber must like the name Maria. What album is that on? That's... Um, it's on Believe. It's like right at the end of Believe. Oh, you know, I should. I went to the Believe tour like four times. I should really. It's know kind that. of like. But a, he doesn't play that like, song. No, it's like a rendition of Billie Jean. Like Michael yeah, Jackson. Yeah, yes. Okay, yes. Justin Bieber is now a part of two songs with the name Maria in the title. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> Maria. And yeah, that's she's Maria. Name. I'm trying to send something. Maria, I'm drunk. Something. What? Yeah, Maria. Yeah, I, th- I thought you said Marie for a second. No, Maria. Yeah, Maria. He's yeah. part of two songs that has Maria in the title. The other one's with Travis Scott, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 4 2, Rian Fran. And this question is to Rachel and Sydney. I'm going to play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. You have no reason to be mad at me. I mean, you know, you broke my heart. I, I I should be royally ticked off at you. You know, I should be really cheesed off. I shouldn't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, that's the guy in Superbad with not Jonah Hill, but the other guy, Michael Sarah. Um, I'm thinking clearly it's like a rom-com vibe. Like he's in Juno, right? I yeah I went straight to super bad but I don't think that's what it is. I don't think it's in, I don't think that's super bad. Um, so my, my options are Juno or there's that other one he's in with that cute girl. 
um, from that waitress show. I don't I even know the name of that. So I, I like guess the G- I like the Gino yeah. option. I'm down for Time's it. Up. Okay, Gino, final answer. Correct. <gasps> Let's yeah. go. I've done it. You were what's the Heck what's yeah. the other Zach, Zach and, Zach and in, Mindy in, make a porno? No, no, make a mix no tape. infinite infinite playlist. Oh, no, yeah. what about the mixtape one? That's the one I was thinking. Yes. but the other one, I just forget what it's I called. I think that's the one that's is that what playlist? Wait, infinite play, or is Infin- that um, Scott Pilgrim? Is that what Scott, you're Scott oh, Pilgrim saves the world? No, I'm not thinking of that. That's what's not what one, I was thinking of. But... What's the one that is? You think it has play- Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist? Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. That's, a, yeah. that's the movie I'm doing. Yeah. Is Michael Sarah in that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's if I could have thought of that, I probably would have picked that. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't. All right, I'm four, also three. Glad you didn't. Getting close now. That was um, a good poll. I don't think I would have gotten that. What do you have said, Super Bad? No. Oh. Okay. Question number 11 is four, three, Rian Fran. Shout out Kira from Philly. Uh, this is to Rian Fran. What was the name of Richard's singing group from when he was a student at Yale? Richard who? What? I was Wait, just, who the fuck I, is Richard? I was Hold on. I was just thinking the same thing when I was reading the question. <laughs> oh, this is a Gilmore Girls question. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, I never watched I Gilmore Girls, Gilmore so Gilmore. count me out of this one. <clears throat> yeah, that was Gilmore Girls from Gilmore Girls. The fucking... I don't know. I don't know. I've never the watched Gilmore Girls. Belt and Bulldogs. I have no friggin' idea. I have no idea. I got nothing. That's okay. my guess. A good guess. Correct. Yeah, right? That would be... I, what, Yale should have that as their singing group. Rachel and Sydney. I have not watched have- Gilmore, Gor- Gilmore Girls in so long. I re- recently watched it, but I have the very recollection. Very specific Who's question. Richard? I don't even remember who. The grandpa. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so I feel like it would be something classy or something to do with Yale. Um, I don't even I know who the mascot of Yale is. Bulldogs. Five oh. seconds. What's the, the name of the bulldog? The boisterous bulldogs. Sure. Sure. Final answer. Final answer. Correct. <laughs> it's whiffin poofs. Sure. Never. Never. Yep. Would have no, never not not coming there. up with that one. <laughs> All right. It sounds familiar now that you say it, but once I've also not watched Gilmore Girls in far too long. Okay. Four, three, we're in Fran, and this question is to clearly a time for a rewatch. Okay. Rachel and Sydney. Shout out Lauren from Fort Worth. Rank these former Disney artists for Spotify monthly listeners from most to least listeners. Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus. Jonas Brothers, Selena Gomez. From most okay. to least, correct? Yes. I want to go... I'm between Jonas Brothers and Miley. For, for number one. one. I think... I don't know, man. If I was listening, I would pick <laughs> Jonas, Miley, Selena, Demi. But I feel like people like Demi Lovato a lot. I think, I don't know, man. I think people like Selena a lot. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye out for Selena. <laughs> okay, right. I, okay, let's do, jo- okay, what do you say? You do, Amenders. Um, I pick, okay, I'll do it. I pick, you do it, yeah. Jonas, Miley, Selena, Demi, final answer. Incorrect. I, man. I weirdly think Selena's number one. Just because she I, has so many fans. She has like people it. fucking love Selena Gomez. So mm-hmm. maybe I like what you wrote. Selena and I don't Jonas. Know where Jonas falls. But Jonas, like they're new, like they have so many new songs. I know. But I think Miley Yeah. Right, think about seconds. how many times Party in the USA is played. Right, right. So should we go Selena? Uh, Selena, Miley, Jonas. I like what you wrote okay. down. Let's go Selena, Miley, Jonas, Demi. Incorrect. Mm. It's Which Selena, Miley, Demi, Demi Jonas. Jonas. Ah, oh, wow. yeah, I was, Never. I, yeah. Damn. That's what I was thinking. The maybe switching those two. Frick. Well, that you is know what? not my order. I'm huh. glad that I put Selena <laughs> number one. Just, I, just, yeah, the that fact felt that right. Got, yeah, that, that felt right. right. Yeah. Which is surprising, I feel like. She doesn't even put out music anymore. But people but it's fucking just the, love the, Selena The Gomez. Selena fans go hard. Yeah. 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 All right. Still 4-3. We're 
Re and Fran. This is question number 13 to Re and Fran. Shout out Felicia from Massachusetts. Name this year. Finding Nemo was released. In the Club by 50 Cent is released. And Amanda Bynes, the Olsen Twins, Mandy Moore, and six other teen stars were on the cover of the July issue of Vanity Fair. Two thousand two, two thousand one. I was thinking maybe a little later. Two thousand three. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. I was definitely like ten seconds. Born in ninety four. In the club. When did that? Two, my guess would be two, three, or four. Time. Let's tough. go 2003. 2003, final answer. Correct. <gasps> wow. Dang. Holy that was clutch. Moly. Damn. I can't believe we got that. We never Me get the either. We never right. get the year ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 5 3, Rian Fran. Rachel and Sydney are going to have to get the final two questions right to get this to overtime. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> okay. And this question is to Rachel and Sydney. Shout out Megan. Which NFL team logo does Harry Styles have a tattoo of? Chargers. Uh, nothing. Do you feel that in your soul? It's Chargers? No, but I, I, it's the first thing I thought of. That doesn't mean anything, clearly. I've been wrong on all the other first <laughs> ones I think of. I, I have no idea. Or we just go um, like really rogue, like Miami Dolphins. Funny. Five Even seconds. Probably not right. I like, let's, we'll stick with the Charger. I like the vibes. Let's do okay. Chargers, final answer. Incorrect. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know, but my first thought was Rams. <laughs> <laughs> but Noah laughed, so now I know that's wrong. Yeah, you know, I I like that guess. <laughs> but he I laughed. Mean, what? I Every laugh. time he laughs. No, I just laugh because everyone laughed. I don't. I don't know. I have no. What would he have? Ten seconds. Packers, Seahawks, Falcon. Like what? Five seconds. Is it a bird? I, I didn't even know we had that. We had no idea. That would really be upsetting. Time is up. We're going to go with the Rams. Final answer. Incorrect. <laughs> Damn. Packers. It, oh, oh, oh I, 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 for some reason, my gut was telling me Packers. It's right on his uh, bicep. I, oh, friend. Is it uh, a piece of cheese? No, it's the logo. Yeah, for oh, I knew that but I. It, it says. He, it I dates back that. to 2012 or 2013 when he made a wager with friends. He said, if they win the game, then I'll get a Packers tattoo. I knew that. Mm. That's why pa Packers I didn't know he was a football fan. came into my oh. mind. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's a victory. That's a victory, but we'll do the final question. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. This final question to Rian Fran. Shout out Megan from Norwich, Connecticut. What Netflix show that aired from 2017 to 2020 was Selena Gomez an executive producer of? Oh, um, 13. 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why. Final answer. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right. <laughs> Another W, the 6 3 <sighs> final score. Hey, at least we didn't goose egg. Hey, that, that, was, that was a good game. That was close. We, that was a close down to the end. end. I thought you had us we there tried. for a second. I, I wish I would have gotten thrown the 2003 question. I was yeah. feeling that in my soul. Yeah. I felt that in my soul, the 2003. Yeah. Well, you guys were great. You pulled Juno out of your ass. Yeah, I, that was, I, was very impressive. Very I'm impressive. very, I would have been very upset with myself had I not got that. Yes. Or so, one good one, at least. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for playing. We really, really appreciate it. And so yeah, nice to meet you and taking time out of your nice day to, to you. play. Um, if you could you send you your addresses and sizes to noah's email we're going to send you guys okay. some merch thanks so much for playing we yes, really appreciate thank you guys it. so thank much you. it was so nice you meeting guys you guys. Thanks guys for having us you're welcome thank you. you guys Bye, are guys. so sweet and you guys Bye. also both have, have really great hair by the great way great hair oh. i thought i thought the same thing the whole time <laughs> This is not what I look like for work on a normal day. I would yeah, love to. <laughs> yes. Well, you guys have. Had to, had to actually do my hair this morning. Fair. <laughs> okay, fair. It. Well, it looks, it looks great. great. <laughs> for you guys. Right. Thank, Thank you, guys. you guys. So Bye. nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe everywhere. We love you guys, and we'll talk to you on Wednesday.